Three, two, one. On pause. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Havoc, do you confirm? I confirm. He confirms. We're live. We're live. And in the south, we've got Orange Pest, the reigning Master League champion on this planet Earth. He is playing as the Wehrmacht. The map is Feynmanville. QAE talking about how him and K Pen reimagined it for Co3. I'm going to stop saying that now, actually, because we've got Ferrigi in the north as the United States forces. And I've got the third place player, the guy that got so close to the final but didn't quite get there. But he's a damn good player. I've got him co casting with me today. Havoc, how are you doing? I'm so excited for these games, man. We've been waiting for this for months. We've been waiting for these two to get another chance at a matchup, and uh, it's finally happening on Feynmanville. Yes, boy, let's go. We've been, that's right, because we, we real ones. There's like a 300-person elite-level secret community of the competitive side of this game. We know there's two real champions. There's guys like Havoc that are trying to get good, trying to get close enough to box with God. But right now, there's two people standing there that have the possibility to win a big tournament. And that's Ferragi and Orange Pest. Now, this isn't quite a big tournament. This is more of, a, let's say, a good, a good minor league event. It's a really good thing that these two French guys, UMB and Canamix, put $50 of their own money up for grabs. And it's been a long affair. It's been three weeks of action. But we all know there's a big $4,000 prize pool event coming next weekend. So, Havoc, this is going to tell us a lot of what we need to know about who's going to be challenging, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we've, we're going to see some new players coming in for the tournament starting next week, which we're also excited about. But I think these two are most eligible contenders for the top spots as it stands. Yeah, absolutely. And it's not a bad thing because we, you know, one of them's going to win $100 today. And they're going to have the psychological edge going into next uh, weekend. But also mm -hmm. they may get complacent. That's the only worry I'd have. Yeah, yeah. It should I, be really interesting with, uh, I mean, Orange Pest, I know he's, um, he's mentally not quite as confident as he has been. And... Humility is not something that's worked for him in the past, so <laughs> I'm hoping it's, you know, he can get his fire back, he can get his, you know, his, uh... His, uh, zest for life. Yeah, yeah, it's that's not, a good yeah. word for it. Yeah, let's go for it. Well, um, I mean, I think what this alludes to is that Havoc ran it close versus um, Orange Pest in the loser bracket final, as cast by Zaney's mm -hmm. app on YouTube. Um, Havoc, you lost 2-1, but it was pretty close at times, wasn't it? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, we were both... Uh, Tw Twin Beaches is an interesting map, um, but he ended up coming out with the VP lead and going into Villa Fiore with both of us having Coastal available. We were both kind of hoping uh, to get access to access to play that side and he ended up getting it and so um i definitely struggled playing against him and but it was a good game good game learned some things got to try some new things out right then so i've kind of gotten a picture of this game so we're gonna actually transition to talking about the game in front of us now guys mm -hmm. so some people on youtube probably better annoyed we've not mentioned anything but we have it's a best of five series you got all your context out of the way. Now let's focus on the tactics. I think it's interesting because Orange Pest has gone for a Co2 style Feynmanville approach, pun intended. He's gone for the fuel up here, this plus 10, which was becoming ever more trendy in the Master League tournaments we have for Co2. Meanwhile, he's kind of neglected the plus 10 in the south. This is actually giving Ferragi, in my opinion, a pretty good staging platform to launch these assaults on this position. And he's chosen the commander. That's, uh, of course, mechanized, isn't it? That's right. Yeah, breakthrough. Dot battery, breakthrough, my bad. Yeah. Breakthrough, of course, with the MP40 Grenadiers. Uh, what do you think about that, Havoc? Uh, it, this hasn't been the most popular battle group choice recently, but I actually think the MP40 Grenadiers uh, lend themselves really well on this map. There's lots of shot blockers, there's lots of sight blockers, lots of corners for them to hide around. So I think he's going to make good use of it. We can see Fast Deploy coming out. 
His 2-2-1 oh, yeah, right. is going to come out really quick, just right before five minutes. So he's hopefully going to be able to do some damage to the field with that. And there's some great late game uh, abilities and weapons uh, as options in the Breakthrough Battle Group. You've got access to the Tiger Tank. You've got access to the Blitzkrieg vehicle ability. Um, so I'm really excited to see this one start to pan out uh, as long as Orange Pest can hold on and not let Farage get too much momentum in the early game. Well, he's trying his best, but I predict we'll see a Panzer Fall Command Tank. Orange Pest seems to love that vehicle. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, let's... Oh, we don't even need to talk about Farage. He's playing US Armor, blah, 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 blah. Um, mm. This is the first big cutoff attempt coming in from Orange Pest. The 221 that allowed this MP40 Assault Grenadier to get in there and get the damage done. And looks like he'll get the neutralization off. He's now got to protect its um, cutoff, and he's got heavy cover position with Grenadier. And the 221 has pretty much free roam. So, first blood to Orange Pest in the resource battle. Mm hmm. Fergie just getting his motor pool up now. He's about a minute away from his M8, assuming he's going to go that route. Uh, Orange Pest opting for the 20 millimeter flak, which I think is a great choice. It's going to allow him to control the center, offer yep. some extra firepower against some of those light vehicles. Um, this weapon has great scaling, and it's very difficult to kill unless you can catch it out with a vehicle. Yeah, and well, Panzerbuska, of course, will be there to protect it as well. Panzerbuska with the 30 cal can actually defend each other, especially if you have one of the two Grenadiers there to Panzerfaust, the M8, when it arrives. And it's definitely an assumption you're allowed to make there, having mm -hmm. the M8 being the choice. And here it is. It's coming. Yep, it's in the queue now. I would have liked to see Orange Pest be a little bit more aggressive with this 2 2 1, just like getting in the face of some of these infantry squads, dealing some more bleed damage, but it looks like he's going to be missing his window now with the M8 on the field. You know what this says to me? It says respect. I feel mm -hmm. Orange Pest now considers Ferragi a true rival. I tried to mm -hmm. warn him, by the way, about this time last year, I was like, you need to watch this Ferragi guy. He actually mm -hmm. looks really good. You need to be careful. And he was like, nah, he's a scrub. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that's done a 180 now. Now that Fergie beat him in a best of three, sent him down to the loser's bracket and is looking really strong. It was actually this map from these positions, Havoc, that I first noticed mm. Fergie's play. So Fergie on Feynmanville is going to be a tough nut to crack. Yeah, yeah. He's a big fan of this map. Him and I have played it a handful of times, and he's just so in so much better form for this map than I I have been, so I'm looking forward to getting it into auto match so I can start getting some practice in. Yeah, sure. Well, it comes into auto match, and I'm really scared about this manpower cutoff in the southeast for uh, def designated defensive line. I think mm -hmm. it could ruin the map. I'm so scared about that because, of course, K Pen and I have put a lot of hard work and effort into making this map as good as it can be. Uh, yeah. But can you imagine a DDL there? It'll cover the victory point, it'll be ridiculous. Yep. Yep, yep. It's DDL breaks a lot of maps right now, so I'm hoping to see some nerfs for that ability oh, with good. this upcoming balance pass. Um, but I guess we'll have to wait and see what it's going to be. Good. Glad to hear it. Right then. So we've got the M M8 Greyhound forcing away the MG in the north. He's behind heavy cover. He retreats away quite easily. And we've got an assault from Orange Pest in the south. The mortar from Ferragi is going to be a star unit. I will bring it to your attention now because it's coming onto the field. The reason it is is because Famerville is short and stubby. And mortars really do pack a bunch on this map. Yeah, the mortar is going to be a problem, especially once it hits Vet 1. It's always going to be able to hit... Uh, Orange Pest team weapons, um, and once he gets access to air burst, he's gonna have a hard time and uh, could potentially pick off some of those uh, team weapons. Oh my god, that engineer pushing off the MP40 Grenadier on the northern fuel. Wow, yeah, really killing That's him. That's crazy. Yeah, it certainly is. We're in for the long haul, but do you know what else packs a punch on this map, uh, Daniel? Nebel Verfus, not Daniel, sorry, Havoc. Nebel Verfus are really good on this map. So, yeah, for every mortar you can kind of side tech, I'll call it, and get the Nebel Verfus. Especially considering, like, Tier 4 is not trendy at the moment for Wehrmacht, is it? So, I don't think no. it's outside the, the reason to get it. 
It's, I mean, it's kind of a weird problem right now. Like, part of it comes from Warbloons just being too strong. And I've kind of been saying this, like, across the board, the specialist vehicles perform better than the generalist vehicles. So what I mean by that is, like, the anti-infantry vehicles perform better than most mediums. The anti-tank vehicles perform better than most mediums. So you're much better coming up with a composition that has some of each than building several generalist tanks like we're used to seeing in code 2 yeah true i mean i i do like that the specialists can do damage to the things they're not specialized in but mm -hmm. i would agree that stuff like the verbal needs to be balanced for certain. Point is under enemy control. yeah the verbal is just ridiculously consistent accurate um great damage to units while it's on the move. It just does too many things too well for its cost right now. So true, true. I suspect we'll see some changes to that in the patch Let's as well. Let's hope so. Let's hope so. Um, so Ferragis had uninterrupted plus 10 munitions control of the North uh, Pier area and the South Island area, meaning I think Ferragis munitions should be pretty ta pretty, uh, pretty big. There's mines going off. Actually, mm. that's Orange Pest mine taking out a Jeep in the Except South. The Jeep. Yeah. yeah. Um... But my point is, Farage's now got double balls on all of his units. He's still got an 80 munition count. So expect him to be doing mining of his own as well. This is a pretty good position for Orange Pest. He m oh. I was going to say, if he keeps walking that rifleman forward, he's definitely going to lose it. That flat 30 turn capping unit in the far south. This is an M8 followed by a Chaffee. Yep, for not surprised Farage's. to see that. Nah, it's uh, very good for its cost, of course, and scales beautifully well. Mm -hmm. Jaeger's a little bit late for Orange Pest, but he didn't feel mm -hmm, he needed mm -hmm. it any earlier than when he got it. He's been a little short on the munitions, so I can understand his apprehension for building it, but he definitely needs to get it out now. He needs more uh, anti-infantry power on the field. Keep an eye on that Pioneer, that could Ooh, die that Pioneer. There. Yeah, yeah. yeah Captain that's... in the same boat. Exactly. Whenever you see anything low near a greyhound, you just expect it to evaporate. That's my experience. Nice use of smoke here. Faraji getting into the center, but this... As, I'll just bring the tap map up. Look at all the battles. The skirmishes all over the place. Real fierce contest so far. I think the secret to Orange Pest scaling is going to be getting as many Jaegers on the field with Shreks as he can against this armor composition. Um, his munition control hasn't been great so far. Fergie's definitely had the upper hand in that regard, so we're seeing more firepower in him in the form of uh, bars, mines, etc. Skirts on his Greyhound. Orange Pest should be about ready to build something else now. Just one thing that was always good on this map, snipers. I know snipers aren't au fait mm. at the moment in meta havoc, but could you even see one being used on this map at some point? Uh, I mean, with snipers, the way that they are currently set up with being very fragile, um, needing spotting required for to, to be used, I, I just, I don't know. I, I feel like it's too much of a gamble at this point. Uh, you could be a lot safer with snipers in Co2 and Co1, of course, but Co3 in its current state with the strength of light vehicles and how quickly we're able to see those snipers go down to a flanking unit, um, I don't think we're going to see them unless there's some changes to them. Talking about flanking units, Jaffe's going in. The Jaeger's not quite on target. Ferragi smells blood and he tastes it there. Well played by Ferragi. A rare, very aggressive move from the Hungarian. Mm-hmm. Yep, very rare to see that. Looks like he's going to get out safely. There is a Faust threatening, but that'll just stun him. There's nothing following up, and Orange Pest must be hurting after that. He's a little surprised not to see the Panzer Bush upgrade on his uh, 2 to one but that could have been a result of his munition shortage that we've been seeing. Right, Orange Pest is going to strike back now. He does not want to lose psychologically because that was a Chad move. Yeah, yep. Yeah. I've seen Orange Pest do this a lot. He does retaliatory plays when he loses things. Um, 
Oh. I think just to retain that psychological advantage, like you were saying. Yep, I can completely understand it, to be honest. He's someone that kind of has a superiority complex and he wants to retain it. Grenadiers He's isolated retain that AT life. gun in the north. Nice. Can the Grenadiers survive? Yes, it can. In the north, Look where's that, that AT gun? That's been wiped. Well caught there. Yep. Chaffee's going up to push out the Werbles. Should be interesting to see how they contend here. And he's going to grab the AT gun with the Pioneer and try nice. to sneak yeah, he'll it out. Get away. He'll get away. Well, unless the Chaffee can do something. Is there anything there to protect? Well, there's an AT gun. <laughs> there's an AT gun! And there you go. I think Faraji sensed it. He must have known. He secured it. Third Warble out for Orange Pest. Not super surprised to see this. A wind of verbals has hit the field. Three of them now, warbling around, having a great time. Yeah. Also worth mentioning, Farage's picked up advanced logistics at this point, so it's going to make all his riflemen scale with veterancy faster, and his reinforcement costs are going to be a bit cheaper. So Wowza. he's in this for the long haul. Good catch, Havoc. Jaeger's going to jump in the house. Let's see if they'll shoot out of it. There is a couple of windows. That was really telegraphed there. Meanwhile, in the center, <laughs> yeah. Jaffe's pushed in. You can see it happening. It took ages for the animations to finish. Yeah. The enemy has taken a victory point. We'll go back and out. I think it would be prudent here for Farage to get himself another Chaffee to help um, apply some extra pressure to these Werbel uh, wins. But I if disagree. I know him, I, I think he might drag him. Nah. Yeah, sorry to interrupt. I just disagree. I think he's got to go for Hellcats. I mean, surely have it. He's going to be several minutes away from any tier 4 vehicles. There we go. Second Chaffee. Yeah. Is he going to go uh, for it? Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. I think this is the right choice by him, honestly. With two, wor with three Werbles on the field, if he can overpower that first Chaffee, with Fergie missing his AT gun now, like he would have no answer. So second Chaffee is, is the right call here to help them protect each other from these uh, Werble pushes. Well, that's the benefit of having a top level, uh, top three in the world player, um, Havoc, uh, to give his analysis. Because of course, it'll be a lot more accurate than mine. He says you want to keep up the momentum, keep up the pressure, and do not wait for Hellcat in this predicament. Let's see how Farage does with that. Anything can happen at any moment now, Havoc. That's yeah. the, even when you've got a dull moment like this one, there's a little bit of tension in the air because we all know that Farage does have the balls to push in when he needs to. Yeah, posturing for position in the center here. Just trying to find an opening, get some information. Team weapons are in a bit of an odd position with that smoke screen in the center there. Yeah, it's not helping them at all. Grand's all being helped oh, either. Scouts discovered there in the middle. <laughs> Self-reconnaissance cancelled. Friends and riflemen don't know each other in the south. Mm. Over there. Ooh, Chaffee versus Verbal in the north center. It's gonna deter those from pushing it anymore. He's not as fearful of mines for some reason. Mm -hmm. Maybe he should be more fearful, in my opinion. There we go. I'm expecting to see these. Chaffees start holding hands a lot more because they're a lot more threatening together than separately. Oh. Pushes off the rifleman in the south. He's going to be able to grab that fuel and the munitions point. He's going to be on plus 33 for a little bit. Nice. And there it is. There's your command panzer. Lovely stuff. Seek and destroy has been mm -hmm. unlocked for Faraji. So maybe he'll be seeking to destroy very soon. I'm expecting to see probably the long play for the EZ-8 here based on his fuel income, but if he can jockey some more map control, we may see him transition to Tier 4. Oh, Chaffee's having a little poke in there, but they find the stolen M1 AT gun bearing down yeah. upon them. What a pickup for Orange Fest that was. 
Advanced Logistics already coming in handy for Fergie. He's got another AT gun out and a fourth Rifleman. So he's got lots and lots of infantry presence. So Orange Pest is going to be able to retain control here in the south. Yep, he's maintaining a lot of control right now, actually. He's yeah, very good out. VPs at this point. Yeah. Shall we do a test to make sure they're not flipped the wrong way? Next time we've got a... Well, we've got one cap at the moment for Orange Pest, it looks like. And, yep, Farage ticked down. So, yes, yeah, the right way around. Just checking. So, yeah, very good VP control for Orange Pest. What's this Captain Mortar on the Aegis? He'll be able to evade that surely. Mm-hmm. That Panzer Ball command tank to urge them to not move. Yeah. Now, I've been testing out this Command Panzer IV, and uh, I think it's a highly underrated unit right oh, yeah. now. It provides great passive to surrounding vehicles, especially the Whirlwind in terms of the rate of fire and the armor. Um, makes it more effective about defending against bazookas. And it also has, it looks like he's just toggled them on. These high explosive rounds are fantastic against infantry squads and light vehicles. So it's going to make a great addition uh, to Orange Pest's composition against this heavy light vehicle play from Fairy G. I like the way you said fantastic that it sounded like you were selling them. And for the, <laughs> and for the low, low price of only $39, you can also get a oh. Jaeger with a Shrek. Oh, in the north, Two you got picking out the Wurble. Yes, we do indeed. And that is a pickup. There's no way that survives, surely. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was saying, man. Those those two Chaffees together, they can pick up one of those Wurbles so quickly. And with Orange Pest's forces spread out so much, he was just waiting for one of those opportunities to close in on an isolated Wurble win. Why? On Earth, does he have 170 munitions, Orange Pest? If he'd converted that into mines by now, that wouldn't have been able to happen. What yeah. is going on? Why aren't the players mining as much as they should be? That's not optimal. Surely, Havoc. Yeah, I mean, he's down to... He's got a couple pioneers up. I don't know. Maybe it's he's been too busy. Field, you know, the field position has been changing hands too much. Chaffees are pushing in the middle right here. Yeah, man, those things are terrifying in pairs. Yes, they are. He did get the uh, snare off. Ray, the number one rated player in the world right now in auto match, says he's save, saving for the flame skill, which of course means the incendiary uh, bombing run for 100 munitions. It's very yeah. difficult to dodge, isn't it, Havoc? Yeah, yeah, the incendiary run, and it's got, you know, it leaves that uh, trail behind. There's lots of choke points on this map where it could be very useful. We'll see if that's what he intends to hold it for. I would also like to see some aggression out of Orange Pest and using it for Blitzkrieg. Blitzkrieg on Whirlwinds and frankly just the rest of his armor composition right now is a terrifying ability. 40% um, increased fire rate on all your vehicles is... Not to be trifled with, um, but I think we're going to need to see him, oh, there's, what is that? He's he used a sentry to save a grenadier's life. I'm not even sure that was necessary, but, oh well. Maybe losing a little bit of his mental stamina here. Yeah, it certainly looks that way. Let's um, have a little look at the old... Uh, live match statistics. We can still kind of f see what's going on there, but the KD is dead even. Mm. The efficiency is slightly in Farage's favor. Mm -hmm. I think logistics is mostly going to compensate for that difference, but if you also look at the tack map, you can start to see Farage's control oh, wow. closing in on uh, Orange Pest. And this is, this is not... Like, this is pretty typical for this map. Um, you see Axis player get cornered with these points all the time, but... You've got to say, though, this map is... It's playing very well in this game, isn't it? Mm -hmm, I mean, it's mm -hmm. feeling like it's vibrant, it's it's all over the place. Anything can happen at any moment. It's feeling good. 
We're seeing survival training go in for Fergie. That's going to give his riflemen extra health and reduce cooldowns on their that one ability. Um, so we're going to see the dominance of Fergie's infantry play become that much stronger now with this tech. And it's pretty clear that he's just waiting for CPs to go for easy eights if he needs them. Yeah, sure. May even stop reinforcing for a while if he really needs them. It's uh, he's got a good amount of fuel for them, which needs manpower when he does get to eight CPs, of course. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't be surprised to see an M30. Whoa, oh, here we go. We've got to push in in the center. Verbalman to try and protect the oh. pack. Rifles are pushing in as well. Flat 30 is, is even helping. There's there. the mortar. Mortar to save the day, it seems. Wow, yeah. Oh, it's aiming down sides. Mordor needs to get out of it. Yes, he does. The Shafis are now going in for the Mordor. Ferragi. That's Seek and Destroy. He's coming, cutting across oh, looking for oh, targets oh, here. Oh, dude. Look at how fast they're going. That was awesome. Because he thought he could pick up the Mordor, but now he's found the Verbal Vind instead. Yep. What a nice reward. Meanwhile, all of Orange Best Army's got to reposition, recalibrate. And in the meantime, in the north, it seems like there's been infantry engagements going on all the while. Orange Pest definitely desperately trying to hold that VP and fuel control. These units are getting very low. Oh, that Jaeger pushed to the rescue, it seems. Oh, yeah. You know, I have to say at this point, I would have wanted to see more aggression out of Orange Pest, considering he went for this, uh, this Command Panzer. Um... And I just don't think it's going to pay off for him in the long term. I think saving for Tiger might have put him in a much stronger late game position at this point. I don't know. <laughs> I just don't it know doesn't what to seem say like to it's that, done the quite enough so for him. Be, man, uh, I don't know. I just think he's been outplayed so far. I'll say it. Mm -hmm. I, I, where's the mines been? If you consider that the incendiary bombing run was 100 munitions and it could have been three clutch mines all around, for example, that plus 10 fuel area, keeping that would have kept his flank chaffy free, and he has not yeah. done that. I just don't have an excuse for him, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. AT guns getting caught out on this fuel here, but Werbel's going to defend it with the phosphorus rounds. Well, there's another AT gun pushing up. That Verbal's in danger. It's been targeted now. Chaffee's jockeying for position here, but looks like they're not going to push in. They're a little bit too low for Fergie to be comfortable with that push. Jaeger Grand's Pyo is pushing in, but Fergie sees the danger and backs away his army. I think the KD will have turned on its head. I'm going to check that now on the performance graph, and I'm right. Only just, actually. No, Fergie's still pretty much even, but it just feels like Fergie's been more effective in the last five minutes. Yeah, we're actually, I think we're seeing that in the manpower difference between Orange Press and Fergie right now. And like I said, logistics really paying dividends at this point with a yeah. four rifle build. He's floating tons of manpower. He's got the CPs for an easy eight at this point, which is going to add really nicely to his current composition. Do you think he needs another Shrek or just keep, keep going modest? I mean, what do you do against the impo impending easy eight? I don't know. This is a tough spot for him to be in. Martyrs. Oh. Yeah. Verbal in peril. He's got the mortar to defend. Oh, but the oh, M1 the from Max Range takes it out. Another Verbal bites the dust. That's three down to one now. Orange Fest does pick up an engineer in the, in the south. Not a great trade, but a trade nonetheless. Oh, dear. Yep, I don't think there's anything we can write home about there. Mm-hmm. And I don't think Ferragi will um, be shy to go designated defensive line when it's his game as Fairmont. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, no, this I'm could be... i it. Yeah, this could be a brutal 2-0 if he does that, in my opinion. Um, it's a best of five, isn't it? It is a best of five. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, Chaffee's closing in. Oh, can he get a, <gasps> oh, a comeback so now? Oh, he got it with the Mordor aiming his main gun. 
for the clutch shot there. Getting that. Is it 10 more range or something? 10% more range? Yeah, I don't know. 10 range else. extra, 25% fire rate. So very, great ability, honestly. Um, a great design choice, I think, by Relic instead of the uh, previous hull down, which was completely useless. <laughs> I don't even remember that. <laughs> right. So we've got the command tank that's been useless, Gunther says. It has 10 kills. I wouldn't say that's useless, but it's not exactly been the turning point. It's not point, paying it? off. Yeah, no. it's not paying off. And if you look at Orange Best CPs right now, like, if he had opted not to get the command tank, he would be jockeying for a tiger at this point. And, uh... <gasps> Verbal versus Shafi. He needs to get out of there. One more shot. Oh, he's done it for now. Orange Pest is not loving the BP situation now. He's now fallen below Faraji for the first time this game. T grenade went off. Mod is blocking him in. These bushes, while they can be nice protection for the Ver player, they're also they also make it very difficult to use casemate or team weapons um, around this road area. Moving the martyr up pretty aggressively, and this is exactly the kind of position Fergie likes to be in. Sitting in green cover, planting mines, <laughs> and waiting for his opponent. <laughs> to be honest, that's, that's the whole, that's why every co-player is happy zone. Surely, yeah. when you when you're up and you're planting mines, you're just solidifying the win. You know, that's the that's what you do off stream, isn't it? On stream, you have a pressure to go for the kill. Off stream, you're like, nah, f that. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I'm gonna sit here, plant mines, and wait for the VPs to tick down. That's the difference between streaming and not streaming, ladies and gents. We've got Mordas going up, we've got Grenz pushing in. Oh, he seems like he's a little bit vulnerable there. I'm a bit scared for Orange Pest's position, Havoc. Yep, there Murders it is. Murders are in a dicey spot. Oh. Yep, there it is. If A can save the danger, you know you're in danger. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Here come the Chaff Chaffs. Scout squad went down, by the way, on the bush. center, maybe. I don't know. Oh, Panzer IV could be hit as well. Oh, oh so close to the M118 gun! Oh. Holy shit, that was close! Oh. Wow. Worth noting, Fergie's tech is tier 4 at this point. He's got resources he needs for anything he wants. Um, be interested to see what he's gonna go for. Yeah. <laughs> Orange Pass opted for another machine gun, which I find an interesting choice. Good yeah, for his good manpower. Decision. Trust me, the the rifles are running ramp shot all over him right now. Mm. I know you th might think he needs anti tank, but he, he just needs to keep the VPs alive, in my opinion, somehow. And he's not gonna be, he's gonna bleed on VPs. There's a there's a, there's an argument to say he has just enough AT. He has. Oh, there's the air burst. Oh, it doesn't have a flak 30 anymore. Oh dear. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, is it a good decision? Is it not? I, all I can tell I'm, you is those four rifles were absolutely killing him. They still are. He's pushing it completely <laughs> uncontested right now. With Orange Pest down to one Warble win, he's just not able to defend these anti-tank weapons. Do you often get the feeling in high-level Wehrmacht at the moment, Havoc, that you live and die by how many verbals you can field at any one time? Unfortunately, yeah. I mean, across the board, Axis Infantry can not contend with double-bar riflemen in any context. Um, and Werbel wins for their cost are just super effective against infantry. This yeah, it's dying. We don't even need to shout cast oh. it, mate. <laughs> oh wait, you survived. That's yeah, that's he, remarkable. He we will remark on that. And the mortars are striking back. Panzerful command tank going in. Bet three. Oh, still oh, survives. Mortar pushes up. He aims down sight. Oh, he missed my. Oh, he missed that too. Oh shit! That was so close. <laughs> <laughs> he knocked off a little bit of the banister there at the back of the villa. Wow. Uh, you gotta be feeling that as an orange best. I can imagine his frustration right now. Flak 30 got it. Is a coward and runs off the battlefield. But uh, Faraji is the wolf at the door at the moment. He has the center, the south, and half of the north. That's pretty much the whole map. 
Yeah, he's also got his first dozer on the map, and he's got plenty of resources for a second one. There oh, it is. Oh, oh, oh. oh, Havoc, when you're saying things like first dozer, I know the Vermap player's in trouble. <laughs> You know what I mean? Yeah, he's. I, I think Fergie's going to be able to close out at this point. I mean, he's pop capped now. Honestly, really surprised at how close they are pop capped, considering how many vehicles Fergie has. The yeah, Orange Best has preserved his army. It's just not going well. Oh, he's hitting mines all mines. over the place in the south, <laughs> which means now the contingent he sent down south is like half strength. Mm -hmm. So he does have an army down there. It's just like. I don't know, a, a German army circa 1945. It's just old men and one boot each kind of thing. Yeah. Now, Fergie can hear him rotating, and if you pop open the tack map, you can see him rotating in response and starting to close in on this cutoff. Oh, it's making me dizzy. We just saw the uh, Flak 30 go down yet again. Mortars are defending for all they have. They're trying to keep the wolves from coming into the house here. Here comes the push. Here it comes. That's Seek and Destroy Elicited. Yep. Picks up the Chaffee. And the Captain Mortar as well. Oh, loses oh, a Oh, Mortar down to the Captain Mortar. Oh, for God's sake, Orange Best. When the Captain kills a Mortar, that's not a good day. <laughs> It is only first game of a best of five, but all our eyes are on Orange Pest USF in this second game. He has to play a blinder to beat Coastal Reserves. I do predict Faraji's going to put the DDL literally covering the screen as we see it here, and it's going to be a tough nut to crack. Yeah, it's just so perfect uh, a spot for it on this map. Um... Be interested to see how Orange Pest deals with it. Ooh, flank from the Shafi Morder. Yeah. Oh, he can't turn around. He's dead. Picks it up. Yeah. Oh wow, that's got to be game now, surely. Yeah. Orange Pest down to three vehicles, and only one of them can do anything about these bulldozers. He's. Uh, He's in rough shape. The Shrek, which he should have had more of, in my opinion, by the way. Yeah. Um, just can take down the Vet 3 Shafi, maybe? Oh, there's the mod. Oh, and the Shafi's finally down. Greyhound now pushes in. He's going to have some good fun. Here come the bulldozers. And look at the resource difference in manpower between Orange Pest and Fairy G. Logistics are really just like. Oh, the incendiary rounds from the bulldozer. Oh, dear God. GG. Was Well played. Well played. Yeah, yeah. well played by Fairy G. Yeah, I think, you know, Orange Pest. I know he's been a big fan of the Command Panzer, but I think your window of opportunity when you're playing against Armor Battle Group is a narrow one. Um, and once you get into late game against an armored opponent that's got Tier 4, you're you're going to be losing the economy game. Um, and we can see that, you know, despite the kill differential between the two of them being very close all game long orange pest was always struggling for manpower and fair yeah. was never having issues getting units out no no um and you can see the graph i'm just letting the screen linger on there is uh points held mm -hmm. uh, orange pest was barely having any of the map for a third of that game after yeah. the 24 minute mark something like that he didn't have he wasn't in cont contestation really mm -hmm. um so I wonder what that moment signified. Maybe a build order mistake from Orange Pest and a build order uh, benefit for Faraji because they just didn't really... He didn't have a chance after that point. Maybe it was the vital mass of Verbalvins and Jaeger Shreks, in my opinion. Never quilly, he never really had good synergy, did he? 
Yeah, I mean, he lost a couple of his warbles, um, traded out one Chaffee, and I think where we're really seeing the difference is where Logistics ticked for uh, Fergie, the fourth Rifleman, mm. um, and just basically a slowing down of the pace uh, and pressure applied by Orange Pest. And Fergie's the exact kind of player where as soon as you give him a little bit of room, and I have lots of experience with this personally, if you give yeah. him a little bit of room and he gets some control, he's just going to choke you out slowly. Um, and I think especially with the opt for the command Panzer IV for Orange Pest, he needed to make some kind of aggressive play to give him an advantage, and he just wasn't able to do it, and Fergie yeah. choked him out. Yeah, he did. And I, I mean... I I, I often say the points I make are good because, of course, I made them, so I would probably think that right. But I think the point I made about mines for Orange Pest was a, a pretty apt point. If you could imagine, when he had 130 or 40 manpower, three of like 120 of that was on the four really good mines. How different would that game have been? You know, it's, it's surviving Chaffee rushes, mm -hmm. Ver mm -hmm. Kavik. Can yeah. you imagine? Instead, he used it on an incendiary bombing run that killed nothing it's yeah. like it's basic stuff it's really basic stuff in my opinion yeah yeah i you know i i can't i can probably count on one hand the number of times i've actually used that ability mm. um and looking at looking at farage's composition the guy had one team weapon like w you know what are you gonna do yeah, uh, with exactly. an incendiary bombing run against one team weapon so yeah definitely would have been better used as more mines another jaeger shrek um maybe an aggressive play with blitzkrieg at some point but we didn't see any of that from him yeah mines and jaeger shrek exactly okay i'm gonna be back in one moment havoc do you need a break mm -hmm. are you okay to just hold the fort for a second uh, i can hold it all right and then we're gonna go straight into game two cheers oh boy yeah that was that was tough to watch after 20 minutes, but he kept it really, really close um, up until that point. But we really started to see the scalability of the bar rifleman come out. And, you know, <laughs> came, poor Orange Pass, man, he had his vet three grenadiers with MP40s, but they just weren't stacking up at all to Farage's infantry. Helldiver influence on OP is massive. Yeah, I mean, for all of us. I know Orange Pest, he's been a little bit out of practice, and frankly, I think his confidence has been a little bit shaken since he lost to Fergie the first time. Um, but yeah, the reality is, Fergie's just been practiced up, like anything, and Orange Pest, I know he's struggled to find people to play with just because of the time zone differences and availability of good opponents. Um... Yeah, man, we saw this way back in Master League One. That upset against Fergie versus Orange Orange Pest the first time. I, you know, I thought I was like, man, I think this guy's really good, and I think he could beat Orange Pest. And then we saw it there the first time. Now the dominance coming out. He plays twenty. I mean, he doesn't play that much. He doesn't play as much as me. <laughs> but yeah, one one Jaeger Shrek was not doing him any favors either. I think martyrs are tough to use on that map, but he made them look competitive and and useful. So I was impressed by that. But I think more Jaeger Shreks would have been better for him for sure. Yeah, two Jaeger Shreks is a minimum, I think. Mm -hmm. Three is the sweet spot. <laughs> but yeah, but, uh, well, you need you need to keep well, you're gonna keep your verbals alive if you have three. So yeah, I get you that. Do. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. yeah, it makes a lot of sense. But imagine if you'd had two, you know mines as well. Mm -hmm. uh, um, yep. and we yeah. didn't see a sweeper from Fergie at all and then the one that he ended up getting he actually lost to an MP40 gun pretty quickly no exactly so yeah I, I'm totally with you I think more mines would have would have done wonders for him indeed okay I've got game two ready same I'm at five um, seconds Yep, as am I. Okay, let's, let's rock and roll. Teching to pack would have been greater than martyr? Mm, maybe. 
Maybe. I just think that would have made him more susceptible to the rifleman, honestly, Daniel. And he also had he had mortar pit and uh, standard mortar. Hmm. No, I think mortars are really good. I think I'm wrong. Yeah, the, yeah, mortars are great. Mortars are meta for both DAC and Wehrmacht, in my opinion. Yeah, uh, I think once Relic fixes this casemate bug, then um, they're going to be a lot more dangerous. A lot more. I'll just briefly explain how how tournaments like uh, have have organized them for the last several years. So if you don't know, okay, so the sign ins are going to close in twenty three minutes for the big event next weekend. Once the sign ins are closed, the players will be verified and they'll be put on a list. All that list means is they are able to check in next Saturday. Once you've checked in, you will then be entered onto the brackets when the check ins close, and that's how it works. So it's like. You enter into a pool of valid players. The valid players are able to check in. The check-ins close. The brackets are created. So that's how it's going to work there, Dexen. Um, mm. I will be doing the sign-up close after this game, and I'll be able to release a uh, list of signed-up players. There you go. All right, then. Three, two, one, play. Six, seven, seven eight... Nine. And ten. Let's go with... This time it's Farage's turn to play Fairmacht. And uh, let's see what he's going to go for. He's already chosen. I'm very surprised with Breakthrough Battle Group. Mm -hmm. I was so certain it would be Coastal Reserves. And meanwhile, Oris Best, of course, has gone for the only US Battle Group that Relic have made to this point. Armored! Woohoo! Let's go. You love to see it. For the umpteenth time this tournament, I'd really like to see a stack up of uh, armored battle group choices versus others over the course of the whole tournament. It's probably like That's eighty twenty, I would think. I don't think anybody's yeah. gone for special operations. Probably not even once. Oh, I, I did. Haven't seen a weasel. You went for a weasel. I didn't go for a weasel, but I did go special operations. Dude, um. Look at that! He's sick. <laughs> he stopped the pioneer capping, <laughs> and then the other cheats coming in. <laughs> you gotta love the abuse. Typical. That's yeah. so funny. <laughs> Sorry, you went for spec ops. What did you? You went for a whiz bang. I saw that. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. My bad. Yeah, yeah. Hulk Smash also tried to do the same against my Axis um, in our game on Villa Fiore. It didn't turn out for him, but oh, he we'll lost the cheap. That cheap. That's brutal! That's terrible. This oh, is disaster for Orange Pest. <laughs> Maybe that game one tilt still lingering a little bit for him. Dude, he went so aggro this game. And he's been bitten hard because of it. He's now backing up into the house. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh, that second Jeep getting very low as well. Yeah, 240. Um, at least he's got the auto repairs on the Jeep. He'll be fine. But, yeah, that 240 manpower loss in the early game, that's not a good way to go. That's before his first rifle even hit. And now you consider the three Pioneer build. I think he's not going to have enough of the map, to be honest, to justify mm -hmm. going armored and raid and all that good stuff. Yeah, he's barely able to get the timing advantage on his fuel relative to Farage. Uh, Fergie capturing his just now. So all of that early game harassment for a few seconds of fuel difference is not going to move the needle for him, especially compared to that loss of the Jeep. Mm. Let's um, let's go on the Orange Best hype train, though. I mean, this guy is our reigning de facto world champion. He won the biggest event of 2023, and he won it in style. So let's just hope he's um, able to wrestle with his demons and recapture some orange pesto magic mm -hmm. that he's going to need to do. I think we're going to start to see more risks taken from orange pest because he knows he's going to be at a disadvantage that he needs to close on um, in order to get his momentum back. Is he able to decap the fuel in the south? That's pretty substantial. Yeah, not a bad shout there. Yeah, keep around, swinging around the south. Harassing the MG now. MP. You got MP forces are on the way. Or one of the grenadiers, I believe. This one in the north. Oh. Oh no, he's backing into the machine gun arc. 
yeeting around there with this Jeep. <laughs> Accidentally did a reverse command. Oh, and suffered more car 98k pressure. And that thing's still on auto repair cooldown, I believe. Dude, that's He's effective. Got 30 seconds. Oh, wow. <laughs> Yeah, so that's another 240 manpower loss if you think about it, because that's not in the game for the next 30 seconds, and time mm -hmm. is money, and it's the most important resource. Oh, what's he doing with the Jeep? What is he doing with the Jeep? Grenz couldn't see it, just out of range. But he's, he thinks he needs to use the Jeep to cap, even though it's low health. Oh, man. He's asking for punishment. He's yeah. just he's within the line of sight of the capping flag as well. Oh dear. He's got auto repair now. He's he'll be okay, he'll be okay, it's fine. Yeah. Fergie's exactly where he wants to be right now. He's got um MP forties popping on both his grenadiers. He's got control of both fuels, fortifications up. His machine gun is supporting the uh the west side fuel. I don't know if Orange Pest is gonna be able to break through this. Rapid production for Ferragy, so this uh, 221 will hit ultra fast, just like Orange Pest did the prior game. Let's see how he does with that. Oh dear, this is not going well. Orange Pest does have his own plus 10 fuel base side, but Ferragy has the two plus 10 fuels on the map itself. So, yeah, that's a lot of income for Ferragy. We're looking at 33 a minute. Versus Orange Pest at 13 a minute. The difference is the 20. Mm -hmm. Two two ones out here. Orange Pest opted for tier two. Oh, he's going to go for right? the... Yeah, he's going to yeah. go for the AT half track, it would seem, maybe, or something like that. Yep. Oh, he's... Bill... No, he's going for the quad. Wow, okay. Well, that'll count to the two two one maybe. Yeah, but... Right in response, we're seeing Fergie building a Jaeger, and he's going to have enough munitions for a Shrek as well. Yeah, so that's, but at oh, least man. he can suppress the Shrek if he targets that first. Yeah. Feynmanville yeah. has some great ambush potential for a Jaeger Shrek, so... Definitely. There we go. Yeah, you can see him building the Shrek right away. Smallest window of opportunity ever. Let's go. Always prioritized vehicle for a second there. Going in. Going for the MG now. Oh, Where's so that Shrek? aggressive. Too aggressive. Shrek's going to hit him in the ass. I don't know if he can tank that shot. Maybe. Doesn't need to. He's going to get out right before it pops, thankfully. It's ridiculous that it pops and fires <laughs> instantly, isn't it? Have you seen that? Yeah. Yeah. Pop. No delay. Well, at least he's thinking outside the gr outside the box, going against the grain slightly there. Mm -hmm. May get a pioneer wipe if he's lucky. Yeah. He might be able to. Oh, he decides not to pursue. Yeah, you can see the Shrek coming. This is the right choice. Ooh, the Shrek coming, the Shrek hitting. Wow. Fergie getting his medics and support elements. So he's going for a comfortable pacing on his Werble. Could be another minute or two before he gets it out. A little surprised he's going for the medical station, honestly. I feel like if he gets his word bullet a little bit sooner, he's just going to have totally uh, incomprehensible pressure against what, uh, what Orange yeah. Pest has right now. Hopefully this next patch will fix the VP bug in time for the tournament, but the VPs are bugged this game. Just a bit of yeah, info there from uh, right? Pidsey and, Tom and Theodosios in chat there. Thank you. Mm -hmm. PSA. I feel like Orange Pest building an engineer to get back his uh, M16. Oh off. man, how many kills has it had? One. 
Oh dear. Did it rescue any map pressure for Orange Pest, do you feel? Do you feel like he was able to exert pressure, cap any points due to the existence of the M16, Babs? He was able to push the machine gun off the field once, as well as a Pioneer in the north, so he has got some control for it, but honestly, I feel like the opportunity cost of going tier 2 is pretty high. Let's see what he's going to transition to next. Escapes 221's now on the island and then mm -hmm. realizes he's not there. Funny driving there, I like it. Sphergy, lots of superior firepower against the uh, much best forces here with those empty 40 grins in the 221. This is what you want to be seeing with that 2 2 one, just getting up in the face of those riflemen squads. Yeah. Applying good pressure. Meanwhile, Orange Pest has a rifleman in the north. Not that many mines planted. So far, of course, Farage wanted to get his Shreks, his MP40s all out. So the rifles are able to continue to harass. We've also got the Jeep going north. There is a Gren there he needs to be careful of. And now the Verbal's on the field. Yep. Uh, he did get, Orsmith did get his motor pull up, and he's going to have an M1 on the field to meet this uh, Werble, but the Werble's going to have about 30 seconds of uncontested time, so we'll see what Farage does with that. In the center, Farage just has it on lock. We've got infantry, MG, 221, scouting everything. We don't have to um, re-employ the Fog of War to show you, but the 221 basically sees pretty much show around here. Sees everything coming into the center. Seeing a second Jaeger in production for Fergie, and he's starting to stockpile his munitions. He's going to have lots of options for um, what he's going to get to do with that. Is he, dare say it, playing a superior fair map to build order to the Orange Pest in this game? It certainly feels like it. I think like so. It. Yeah. Chaffee's on the field. Yep, Chaffee going balls deep. He needs to immediately. He cannot delay. He wants to go for it. He's also got the M16 pushing up behind. We do have Jaegers. Do they have the Shrek coming? Yes, they do. Can they More save time. the Verbal? Not sure about that. Oh. Yeah, he's going to get a follow-up shot. He should be fine. He should be fine. Yeah. He should be fine. Yeah. He gets it, but here comes the Jaeger Shrek. Pops. Hits the M16, but Pioneer's gonna keep scouting. Can the Shrek get one more shot off, perhaps? Here it comes! He oh. hits it! Oh! I did not think that the Jaeger was in range to get that last shot. I thought he was gonna for sure fire at the Chaffee, but good pickup by, by uh, Fergie to salvage that it, push. It's the small detail, though. The devil's in the detail. The Pioneers mm -hmm. went straight to center. They predicted the reversal path of the vehicles to get that last shot off possible from the Jaeger. It's it's the devils in the detail, and Fergie has really good fundamentals, and he's playing like a god right now. AEG does get excited for simple things, but simple yeah. things done well are really, really good. Have, have it. Yeah, they, really are. they make all the difference. They make They separate the good players from the great ones. Yeah, same in any sport as well. It's a lot, often like the commentators go on about really simple stuff, like a boxer's footwork, for example, but it's really important. Right, here comes Orange Press with that psychological edge. He wants to recapture 2 2 1. He gets it. Will he roll over the mine? He knows that mine's there, Havoc. And there we go. He drives away from it. Oh my god, I was going to lose all faith for a second. We have an MGD crew from Immorta. We're going to have it again, perhaps. He's able to get out. Fergie rebuilding his Werble. Orange Pest going for a fourth rifle. Um, still not having great fuel control, but maybe... What are we going to see? There it is. There's the bar tech. Browning automatics coming down. For Orange Pest, we've got Luftwaffe officer quarters. 
full Ferragy. Mm -hmm. It's going to help with the scaling on his Jaegers, give him that free ambush bonus, um, access to that one on his Wurble. Great attacking choice. We're seeing lots of mines go down from Ferragy, which is what we were missing from Orange Pest last game. Orange Pest knows where it is. He nearly hits it where the Jaegers are on top of it. That was close, I tell you. Fergie not shy about popping those white phosphorus rounds. He's get he's raking in plus 60 munitions per minute right now. I wonder if Forest Best is going to forget about some of these mine positions. Yeah, the verbal's at the door right now and he's knocking. And that could be another cutoff. Oh, Orange Best is going to have barely anything coming in when this happens. There he goes, 13 fuel. Uh, still got that, but he hasn't got many munitions now. Plus 10 only mm -hmm. coming in. AT no, gun is going to help with that verbal deterrent. Uh, Farage's just lots of... Lots of units right now. Oh, also selects the Panzer IV command tank. Inter wow. Interesting. Yeah, VP wise, by the way, um, they all flipped the wrong way, Ozilligath. But uh, so yeah, they flipped the wrong way. Sorry. Yeah. Thanks for tagging me. <laughs> <laughs> you made me talk about something that we already knew. It's, it's broken. But yeah, they've got rid of the U UI now, guys. The reason I get rid of the UI is because it's too top heavy on the top side of the screen. When we get too many units out, you can't see what's going on. So yeah. But you can see what's going on right now, and that's Orange Pest has a real tough task ahead of him. He's got bars on his rifles now that will help him push. But here's the Panzer Full Command Tank. Can Ferragy show us how to use it? Uh, this is a good choice in this context. I mean, he's trying to close the game out. He wants to keep his tempo up. Um, the P4 is going to allow him to defend better against a potential Chaffee dive from Orange Pest. Which is only his real his real only threat right now uh, against Farage. So he's positioning himself well to deal with that. Yeah, I mean, Ozilgath meant that Orange Pest is in trouble on VPs, but I thought we knew that. He's barely had anything this game. Oh, yeah. It's been all Farage. It's been real, really upsetting for Orange Pest. Ever since he lost that Jeep early um, to Grenfire from the Car 98Ks, it's been all. He's never really gotten into the game since then, really. Mm -hmm. Here's another rifle up for Orange Fest. Just does the simple things right. He's not a flashy player mm -hmm. at times, is he? No. I mean, the some of the chaffy play in the yeah. Sorry, go on. I like. I love that quote. Please say it. <laughs> yeah, he's just, you know, he's a, being very conservative with his manpower. He's disengaging from losing engagements. He's. Oh, it looks like he might lose that rifle man in the north. He has to. There it is. Down, and that's a free ball. I thought you were going to say, speak quietly and carry a big stick. That's what I thought you were going to say, sorry. <laughs> it's always a good one. That's fair to do it too, though. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Orange Pest is 2-0 down now. I'm really curious as to what this next map is. Road to Tunis could save him. Ooh, big, big grenade goes off. Has Orange Best got to go back to basics and start studying replays he's had against Farage? Try and figure out, mechanically speaking, tactically speaking, every engagement, what has he done wrong and what did Farage do better? Has he got to respect mm. his opponent, Havoc? Yeah, I mean, there were lots of things that happened in the early game that were very different despite the same battle group selection by these two players. Um, 
Obviously, Orange Pest losing his first Jeep is is a devastating loss. And frankly, it is the only weakness potential of that uh, opener for USF right now. Um, but it really requires like misplay on the part of the user uh, in order to lose that momentum. And that's unfortunately what happened for, for Orange Pest here. God, I mean, people, and I don't think it's that simple about the Jeep, though. I mean, of course, that tilted him, don't get me wrong, but Faraji has done a lot of uh, very incisive infantry pushes as Wehrmacht that mm -hmm. maybe Orange mm -hmm. Pest could learn from. Just wondering how he got in there with some of this infantry. The build composition Faraji used wasn't superior. Yeah, the Jeep loss was big, but I think Faraji's been doing some stuff as Wehrmacht better. Yeah, I, I I mean, I don't think the impact of the Jeep loss can be understated because when you look at the field presence of both players at three minutes, you've got five units on the field for Farage and two for Orange Pest when his second rifleman is in, or his first rifleman is just finishing production. Um, that's allowing Farage time to get fortifications up, to get his Grens on the field, to upgrade them with MP40s, and he's just in such a better position at that point. Uh, comparatively, Farage opened with one Jeep and a Flamer Engineer that captured the south and was just applying slight pressure to the north side, not taking too much manpower bleed but inflicting a little bit on Orange Pest and just waiting for the kicker of those riflemen to start to come in and, and deal extra damage. One thing you've got to bring up though is Orange Pest has somehow been able to get two VPs. He's toggled in the um, north and the south recently. Um, he's kept those 24 victory points just about alive, and and how close is he? Oh, he's quite far off Easy 8. I don't think the Easy 8's going to save him. No, no, he's too far off at this point. He's still got to tech through seek, seek and Destroy, which puts him at two CPs on his way to the Easy 8. Um, Farage has the perfect composition to deal with a potential Chaffee dive, which is really the only threat to Farage's forces right now. Nice dodge with the, the AT gun there. It's the incendiary barrage. <laughs> yeah. Nice dodge. Dodge to the right of the ability. Jaeger's now pushing in. Mortis firing back. He's got a cap. Yes, he has capped the northern victory point with the Jeep. All eyes on the center now. Does Orange Best have the material to force off this force? Mines detonating. Keeping the Vet 2 rifles out of the equation. We've got airburst mortars coming down. The captain's coming in. Is he off cooldown? I need to know. No, he isn't. He doesn't have a mortar. Ah, but the rifles were able to force them off. And they get a Panzer Shrek. M1's going to hit a mine. Ooh, he's careful. He's got to be. Jeep somehow gets out of there. But diverting a massive Panzer Force. Oh, Chaffee's pushing in. Has he had a sweeper there recently? Oh, he's getting in there. He's gone past the mines. He's gone past the mines, wow. Havoc. Targeting the Martyr first, that's the right choice in this context. It's a bigger threat here. He gets it. Oh, he's he's going in. Going. He gets yeah, it. He goes in. That's desperate. That's foolish. That's foolish. He gets Fausted. Is there, is there anything coming back? There's the Panzerful Command Tank. Has the AT gun pushed up? Yes, it has. All right. Okay. I'm, I'm so confused right now. Havoc, what's going on? Oh, got the rear face on the Panzer IV. He has to get that verbal. He's going for the Panzer IV command tank instead. One more shot and he'll get it. Was that a good trade? I'm not sure. He's got a damaged engine. Can he even escape himself? He's got a fresh verbal coming out. Meanwhile, in the south, he wins that victory point. He's down to five VPs. Can he neutralize? He's down to four VPs. He's got it. Three left. Well, we can see a lot of units from Farage moving to that south VP. Yeah. Archbest has to respond. He doesn't have time to repair. He doesn't have time to idle. He's got to move right now. He's going. He's going. He's heard you, but he won't get there in time. There's no way. Four man low health rifle has to get in there. The Shafi's been repaired. He's gotten in there. He's going to try his best. But this Grenadier is an imposing force. Vet 3. He's got a bar as well. Mine it. Oh, that's what you get. Oh, rifle's about to die. 
This mine laying from Fergie has just been absolutely on point. Incoming. Yeah, it really has. It's all over the place. That rifle's going to hit two mines. Oh, dear. And that's game. Well played. Oh, that's so tilting. That's such a tough way to go out. Man. Two nil. Two nil, exactly. And, um, yeah, we're going to see it now on the points held. There's that early Jeep loss. And mm -hmm. Orange Pest struggled to get back in it after that horrendous early Jeep loss. Yeah. And uh, he basically gifted it to his opponent. It was impressive that he was able to get back into it. But um, it was all Fergie from there on. The Jeep opener is, is very high reward as long as you don't lose one of your Jeeps in the early game. If you do, it kills all your momentum. Um, and unfortunately, Orange Pest suffered that fate. And Fergie was just able to secure the positions he grabbed a whole bunch of map control he got his munitions up for mp40s and he was just ready for orange pest by the time he hit the field the second time yeah made him pay well, with the the mines basically and the shreks mines and shreks mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. oh we need to close the resurgence sign up so let's do that now give ourselves a break from casting because we've got the third replay ready to go but i just need to cleanse my palette a little bit hang on Resurgence signups. Resurgence. Where is it? Here we go. Responses. Accepting responses. Not accepting responses. Okay. Right then. Let's mm -hmm. have a look at this. Let's have a look at this. Shall we try and do the seeding live on air? It's it's really difficult. I'm not going to lie, guys. But I'll try. That means I'll probably fail. Hang on. I have got an app from uh, PageP that allows me to do it, so it shouldn't be. Are ready. these are all these ELO values live, or do they need to be updated? They're definitely not live. That's what I'll try and do now, but I'm not promising anything. Mm. Um, yeah, so I'll show a little bit of Excel magic on screen. Let's go. Oh God, hang on. Let me all right, let me get off screen because I don't want to show people's email addresses. So mm. I need to be careful what I do there. Um, yeah, I just need the co three stats. Okay, there we go. Back to the monitor screen. There we go. So we we want those numbers in the middle. So we go data, data cleanup. No, not data. T split text to columns, but then we want our own delimiter. So we want it to be forward slash enter. Then we want those little numbers there. So we're going to go equals that number. And then the one below, we're going to ignore the autofill. We're going to go equals that one. And I think it's comma. I need to check that, actually. Um, bloody hell. Hang on. Let me show. I don't want to show my Discord messages on screen, so I'm going to not do that right now. Page P. What did he send me now? Okay. It is commas. It is commas. So, let me get back to the Excel magic. Okay, so then you want a comma, and you want to go... And the one there. No. The one in E. Drag that. And that last cell should be the one I need. It should be everybody's number, basically. Okay. And then we got this, which is this bit of code. This values. Put that in there. And run that, and that should give us all of our scores we need. It should be downloading as we speak. Should be be the operative word. <laughs> Dex is impressed with your uh, your spreadsheet skills. Oh, good. I'm glad Dex is impressed with something. <laughs> Right, okay, run that, please. Oh, then I have to click the URL. Yeah, I forgot to click it. There we go, that's better. That's a big boy. There we go. We've got all the stuff. That should be 38 players. We have to manually remove one of them. Hang on. There we 
you guys better. Ooh. <laughs> uh, let me... I'll show this back on screen now. Yeah, it's got no personal information. I'm just checking. So now what we need to do, and I will make this better, of course, but what we need to do is equals average um, top two C, the top two things there. There we go. Oh, this is exciting. That number there, largest to smallest, puts them in order. You're number two, Havoc. How'd you manage that? I'm um, a ladder warrior. What can I say? Oh, Dexon got number 16 just about. Wow. Who the hell is... Cancerous? Why is Perbuni on there twice? Oh, he put himself on there twice. We just need to delete him. He signed up twice. That's all it is. Uh, so we just delete property. And then do it again. I can't remember who Cancer Express is. Um... Uh, that is Jibber. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Jibber. Okay. But this is just my my data version. Raw 11, like, he is a legend, but there's only one legend, and he's, he, sh he could have scra he could have grinded to get 1v1 top 16. So I would have loved to see him in the event, but I'm not sure I can give him a wild card, you know? Mm. He's not that big of a legend either. He never won a 1v1 tournament. He just won 2v2 events. Mm -hmm. So I think he has to sit this out, sadly. So you're not going to get that many people that don't check in, surely. Uh, Daniel D managed to get in the top 16. Yeah. What the hell? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well played. But I think that's a good approximation of people's skill. There's no one I'm seeing that I'm thinking, oh, jibber. Brutal jibber. Hoo hoo hoo. Jibber didn't get in the top 16. No. He came back too late. Is this the average of all four factions? No. Either, or is it just the top no. two? Top two, top two. Okay, okay. Did you know that when you were when you were grinding? Uh, I think so, but I just... I played all of them regardless. Yeah, I would have loved to have seen Jibber and Roar 11. But... I don't know if that qualifies for the wild card showdown I was thinking of. Wow. The wild card showdown I 11. wanted would be like Love Nest versus Asilda or something. I'm, I'm, like, yeah. I'm not sure I can justify it with Jibber Raw 11. They are two players I would want to put in the top 16, but I have to be fair. And mm. everyone got the same rules, so simple. Daniel, there are no qualies. That's why I kept pushing auto match down everybody's throats. I, I couldn't have been more obvious. I know, the, basically, the premise is this. I knew I had a big event to run after the patch hits, and that's the window, because it's paid for by Relic, and they want it for marketing purposes. Mm. So I had to push all too much down all your throats. I was really obvious. I said, huge event, 2nd of March. Get your <laughs> auto match ranks high, high, high. Nobody, well, some people listened. But the ones that didn't listen, they're not going to play. <laughs> That's all. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. It, coming like if I was somebody that was at like 1600 when that announcement was made, even if I'm grinding nonstop, it it'd be pretty hard to scrape into top 16 because that's like 300 points you have to climb over the course really? of. Really? When, when did you make the announcement? Like a few weeks ago? Uh, longer. I made it. Is it longer? It, yeah, no, I made it as early as humanly possible. And I was hinting to loads of players, like, secretly as well. Like, mm. you know, go, 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 ladder up, go, ladder up, go, ladder up. Because mm -hmm. I, I can't, you know, we didn't have to. It's a shame Zulu's not there as well, Silent. I agree with that, definitely. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm bench warming the, uh, Spot number three, I think, for, for Zulu. Zulu is... <laughs> he's a fantastic player. I really look forward to having him back at some point. Oh, no. The map. Jesus Christ. Attention. Right, five seconds. Re replay three. You've got it, right? Yeah. <laughs> Your favorite. <laughs> oh, I, 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 I want to <laughs> like this map, but it's too buggy, and the sensor yeah. makes no sense whatsoever. Mm, trust just, me, I felt it. Oh, poorly designed in my opinion um and what are we talking about um children that's right villa fiore villa fiore 
<laughs> oh man, it's just not that good. Sadly, I wanted to like this map. I like the edges. I like the sides. The centers really yeah. not that good though. Sadly. Worth calling out, so Fairy G with his VP lead, knowing that map three is Villa Fiore, opted to pick USF. Which no, I'm sorry, little, they, they cycle factions, by. surely, don't they? Yeah, they, they just go all allies, axis, allies, axis, best of five, best of five. Oh, right, because it's best of That's right, right. Yeah, right, yeah, right. yeah. Sorry, okay. sorry. But, um, I mean, we get to see what commander he's picked already, mm -hmm. which is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Airball. Yeah. And we've got Coastals from Orange Pest. So it's going to be exciting. It's going to be exciting. Yeah. Five seconds. Oh, we missed a Havoc. We're ready. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Unpause. Six, seven, eight. Oh, yes. So, oh, yes. So, oh, yes. We've got Ferragy's US of F. And um, he's gone for Airborne Doctrine. He's 2 nil up. He's got one hand on the biggest kitty. That we fought for all March. It's one hundred dollars, Havoc. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go, yeah. baby. We've been playing our hearts out for this man, and it's uh, <laughs> it's about time we see this come to a close and the the payments payments go out. What the hell are the engineers are wearing? Eager. Is that so? Like, what is that tunic thing? Is that so they can like hold mines in the big pockets? They look like saggy man breasts. Talking about the pios? No, the. Oh yeah, the pios. Sorry, yeah, the pios. Yeah, it's My a bad. satchel. It goes around their neck. It's got pockets on both sides. Uh, okay. I think it's for like tools and I don't know grenades. Who knows? <laughs> okay, it just looks a bit odd. I've never really looked at it in detail before. Uh, there are all going to be more engineers. So Orange Best, of course, was the kind of originator of multiple pioneer strategies in Go Three. Uh, I've seen it in every other game of this series, Havoc, so I feel like a little bit kind of strange saying that. But it was mm -hmm. pretty innovative when he went for it on Twin Beaches in the Master League. Definitely. And uh, we saw Charlotte take it a step further. How many does Charlotte seven go? bio build. Oh. <laughs> hey, you did eight the other day. I saw that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How do you find uh, playing with eight pioneers? How do you, like what does that do to a man? Uh, you know, you kind of just—I mean, you feel pretty chat at the beginning, but then you start to lose them, and you feel bad for them, kind of. But you know, they're just fodder for the jeeps. You just need pressure on the jeeps. So. Yeah. Jeep fodder. It's feeding town in Jeep Town, but we haven't got any jeeps today. It's going to be Pathfinders leading the way for Farrah J. Orange Pest is going to early secure both the north and the south plus five fuel, uh, which is going to help him get to his tier two pretty quickly. Nice little uh, hiding spot for the pioneers here. Look at that. It's cute. Yeah. See yeah, that on the north. <laughs> yeah. I like it. <laughs> Meanwhile, in the center, rifles are pushing the villa. He's going to be okay there with the pioneer support, but the second rifle's coming in, and he's not going to be able to deal with that. Oh, he's sticking this engagement out. Sealing good damage to this rifle, but no model drops yet. Oh, he's focusing the pile. Well, oh, and he then focused the coastal and ripped him a new wow. one. Great engagement by Fairy. Where's the MG? Like, surely by now there'd be an HMG 42 ripping up the fields. Come on, where is it? We see a third coastal instead. What? Maybe he doesn't like it on this map because of the hedgerows. I don't know. I have thought MG's like kind of stock with a coastal build. Surely. It'd be. Oh well. He's gone for a pioneer with a flamethrower though. He does not want Ferragi to hold the villa it would seem. The villa yeah. with no south facing windows by the way. Fergie's right, got himself a flamer as well. It's actually going to be great against uh, any units closing into this middle section. Mm. And here they come, here come. Oh my god, look that at all these man. units. Yeah, they're pouring in. Yeah, Orange Pest knows he's got to focus that flamer down. And so he does, forcing it off. Orange Pest is trying to get back in there. 
It's being harassed though in the north. The sneaky pathfinders have found a path all the way to there. See, this is a perfect example of Fergie's infantry powers. He's kind of just slowly kiting him back, dealing damage, and then, yeah, as soon as Orange Pest closes to a favorable engagement, Fergie just disengages. He's going for the med tent now. He's going to take almost no bleed from those engagements. Um, Ipkai Fung fighting game enthusiast, of course, uh, believes in the purity of double elimination, where you play the same series again if the upper bracket player loses. Mm. But um, I, I think for Company Heroes, it's quite nice to have a super pick, and that's what the players have gone for this time. The upper bracket player, Farage, was fine with a super pick, meaning he just chose the maps that they're playing on, rather than uh, having two lives going into this series. It was, uh, it was a discussion I had with the players at the start. Because uh, this tournament didn't prescribe that rule, which is fine. Oh, that engineer's gonna hit the mine. Mine, yeah. Oh, he's so close to it. And he's hit it. Well, one of the models isn't yeah. alive anymore. Yeah. Mm. You see engagements, but there's a flamethrower. Those coastals can't. That burst. Yeah. Gonna Orange Fest is going to get pushed completely off the map now. That he's losing it. Oh, he's so careful. Yeah, he is. That's the power oh of the focus. Answer, yeah. He lost the coastal on the south munitions there. <gasps> oh, he no. He was focusing on that middle engagement. Oh, man. Havoc, you don't want to know what happens if this is 3 0. You're going to have to play me to make a. Uh, uh, what's it called? <laughs> no, I won't, I won't subject people to that, but uh, we'll have to think of some content to make a spoiler-free zone on YouTube. Oh dear, this isn't going well. Orange Pest has gone for the uh, Flak 30 next. There's and there's the DDL. The DDL. <laughs> Jinx, you can't talk now, unless somebody says your name three times. <laughs> <laughs> but uh oh wow we have a yeah the, the 2 2 one timing is uh well mine hits there but it hit, only hits a pathfinder yeah just one a victory point has fallen into enemy control. orange despite losing a coastal he doesn't look like he's in that bad of a position right now i hesitate to say mm-hmm There we go. Yeah, he needs to get angles with this 2-2-1 and start dealing some damage. Great point on getting angles there. For new players that are just tuning in, um, these covers, these units behind heavy cover on this hill, 2-2-1 comes here and negates the directionality of the heavy cover. Wow, the 2-2-1's on fire! Directionality is a word, eh, Tank? Trust me. I'm a doctor. I'm a doctor of big words. People Googling it right now. Put your hands up in chat if you just Googled it to fact check me. I bet you did. <laughs> M8's on its way, of course. Yep. Yeah. That's... Fergie about to hit 300 manpower. Wondering what he's going to go for next. He's got lots of options here. A mortar pit would be fantastic. There it is. <laughs> He's oh, putting it up right now. Man. Yep, there it's coming behind the hedgerow. That's a good place for it. That's going to have bigly range, isn't it? Oh, yeah. It's Once it hits Ved 3, it's actually able to hit every VP. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, did Relic test this? I would <laughs> literally probably say no. I would say Southern Pile's in danger. Yeah. They're dead. It was the rifles yeah. that got the kill sneakily. Little sneaky rifle shot there. 2-2-1 two, two, is staying vanilla. No sign of a Panzerbuska. Officer coming in for Orange Pest. Okay, not a bad option. Let's go to the Vet 3 Orbital Iron Cannon Strike Officer. He gets so much firepower with...
between this flak 20 millimeter and the officer barrage, like he's gonna be able to control that middle pretty well as long as he keeps both alive. Officer toasty already. Oh yeah. You'll love to see it. Surprised to see the 20 millimeter move so far from the center. I haven't seen the 20 millimeter do anything yet, I must say. I think with the shot horrendously there. <laughs> Let's check out the north. Pathfinders versus coastals. Bar is coming up for Farage and Warble Wind building for Orange Pest. Resident Sleeper, wake me up when they go off meta. <laughs> but the big uh, tension in this series is not the choices they're making in terms of build order. It's the fact that Farage is one game away from a tournament win against Orange Pest. Officer is oh trying God. to Look at all rifles. this firepower in the middle. What's the rifle doing? He's pushing the officer. Oh, the flak is going to come in and chew this up. That was pretty good oh, by Orange Pass. He just stood his ground there. Mm -hmm. He calculated it. I cannot see Orange Pest losing this game, Farage. Uh, Havoc, sorry, I can't see him losing this game. I just feel he has, like, a really good strategy, and it's going to yep. take a big play from Farage in order to win, in my opinion. We're going to have to, yeah. you know, see a horde of armor sweeping in with P-47 rockets or something crazy. He just seems to have it on lock with this build. Yep. The power creep of DDL and the officer as they go later into the game is just ridiculous. Um, and he's going to be pretty much impervious to any anti-tank gun fire uh, as long as he stays on his side of the hill, um, which is the unfortunate part about this play against this battle group on this map specifically. I mean, positives for Farage, he has got Orange Pest down by 150 victory points nearly now, so you know, that's going well. Let's check out the uh, kills. Pretty even all in all. Yeah. He did get a couple early wipes on Orange Pest, which you can see is really affecting Orange Pest's uh, Orange Pest map presence on the uh, outskirts, away from the middle. Uh, this is second Werble. Chaffee in production for Farage. As expected. Yep. If Orange Pest can get a Jaeger out at this point, he'll be in good position to keep holding on. some hits on that mortar pit. Yeah, he is. He's got the mortar pit down to half health now. He's pushed up as well with the flat 30. And it's down and out. There we go. It's got off one last round before it died. Balls are trying to strike back. They could actually take the officer out here. Could be okay. Oh, and the Shafi's found the 2-2-1. Got to back up and he's taking it out. There's a 20 millimeter. It's got to protect these Werbles. Pioneer Vet 2 needs to survive there. Oh, he's getting out. That's good. And that Flak 30 is so beefy inside that DDL. Wait, is he going to try and decap the DDL? No. It can't he be should. done. I've never seen it happen. <laughs> It's impossible. The legends are true. He's decapping a DDL guy, guys. By the way, we Triple just had a fight. Loses the engineer. Yep. He did. He lost the engineer. Farage's not thinking straight right now. Oh, dear. Wow. Well, he's thinking straight when you look at the map, but... Yeah. 
I think that was a miscalculation from Fergie. A rare misplay. No one decaps a DDL. It's impossible. The only way a DDL changes is if the Wehrmacht player decides to change its location. Got access to carpet bombing for Fergie now, which could be helpful if he's trying to push Orange Pest off that hill. Gotta say, Orange Pest Infantry Force leaves something to be desired right now. We're up against four riflemen. Three verbals have got to hold the line, leaving themselves open to Shafis, I guess. Mm -hmm. Again, Orange Pest does not go Shrek's. He's got... That's unforgivable. Pause the replay. I won't because I'll lose sync with Havoc. But what the F? He just touched 250 munitions for a second there. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's disgusting. It should Orange, be laying what a are lot you more doing? Mines. What are you doing? No excuses, Orange Pest. No ex if you lose this, no excuses, my friend. 250 munitions. It's not on, man. Oh, we might wipe the M1, though. Yeah, yeah. Oh, good pickup. Very nice. The wizard is coming in clutch, and he's going to get it again. Verbal from max range. Deck sense says it's a bug or something. I'm not sure if I saw a bug. I don't think so. Seems we've had a supply drop in base for Farage. Let's see what. It... There we go. He's getting a lot more munitions. Yeah, he's trying to get ready for that carpet bomb, I think. And he's Orange got best up to 300 munitions now. Disgusting. Absolutely vile. Like, he did pick up the AT gun. That's actually really nice for him. Again, yeah, he did that in the previous game, didn't he? Alright, the map's becoming more playable now as these bushes become crushed. It's not that bad when they get crushed. It just becomes a big open field with a small hill in the middle. You know what I mean? It's like, mm -hmm. yeah, it's not the best the map to like. It didn't take much convincing me for me to re remove it from the resurgence map pool. We'll put it that way. Yeah. Right, Morder for Orange Pest now. Morder. Yeah, he's... <laughs> cool. Sorry, he's. I was just gonna say he's got a great vehicle composition now. Picking up the AT gun, like he's he's got everything he needs to deal with. Frankly, the Chaffee is the one threat that Fergie has to uh, these Wervals right now, and it's not going to cut it, so he's going to need something else. Imagine this build order from Orange Pest, but with 300 munitions of mines laid. That's mm. 10 mines all around the battlefield. He'd, he'd win the game. It's that simple. If you had all this in the center, Havoc, imagine, just place them now with me, all the flanks covered in mines. Mm -hmm. fact, he's finally laid one. No, he's given up on it. Who's, who's queued that up there? He's got a lot of mines queued up, actually. <laughs> he finally listened to us! <laughs> oh my you. god! Right, game over. Carpet bombing! Carpet bombing! I repeat, carpet bombing in the center! And everybody just calmly walks away. Let's watch the cinematic, though. Yep. Well. He did lose a pile there. Did he? Okay. Yeah. Look at all the mines he's finally planting. It's Christmas. <laughs> it's no, he's finally he finally what he clued asked. in. Yeah, he's like, uh, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Allegedly the best player in the world, ladies and gentlemen. It's definitely not a weak era. Wink, wink. No offense. Sorry, Abic. I hurt you personally, though. No. Sorry, <laughs> Good. I'm glad you can. Just trust me, when AE's passing comment, that means it's a weak era. That's that's what that means. Oh, nice play from the Chaffees. Yeah, They're pushing in. Everything's backing up against the hell. It's there. Got lots of artillery, Another. but the... Go on. 
Oh, big shot oh, from the mortar. Fergie was hoping he could continue to capitalize on the first pickup of the Wurble. He did get a second one, but trading out the Chaffee, he's going to need to rebuild that or an AT gun. He's going to need something else because he knows that the vehicle onslaught of Orange Fest is not going to stop. What the hell? He's put the defen designated defensive line on the plus 10 munitions outside Fergie's base. <laughs> oh, he's That's going for the kill. It's a bold move, Cotton. We'll see how it pays off. <laughs> I love to see it. <laughs> All right, let's get off this big-ass UI a second. Let's see what's going on. It's just a supply drop. Farage clearly trying to prepare for another carpet bomb. Between DDL and that repair bunker he's got outside of the uh, the villa there, um, his vehicles are going to be kept up in tip-top shape. Seems the United States Air Force have spotted a very small hut in Cambodia that may or may not contain some AK-47s. It's time to call in the Air Force. This Another officer bunker. is... Yeah. It's very close to Vet 3 Havoc. It's very close. Mm. It's going to have that massive um, circle soon. It's brutal. It's completely unavoidable and... Completely unplayable against. You can't pick off the officer at all without being in danger of being inside of that radius. Medical bunker going up right behind the middle VP for Orange Pest. Nice. This is un un unassailable. You, you don't do anything. He does have carpet bombing yet again. Mm -hmm. But this is a lot bigger than one small hut now. If he could just get a good flare in there, he'd see all this, and he'd definitely want to pop that carpet bomb. Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. Look at the target. The verbals are trying to scatter. He's seen the red smoke. Oh, my God. Nothing died, I don't think. No. Marta got very low, but not nearly enough. <laughs> Someone in chat shouted, uh, democracy in all caps, as the box hit. <laughs> <laughs> That'll teach those villagers for having a strategic water well in the area. God damn it. <laughs> Sorry. I've been reading about the Vietnam War recently. You can tell. <laughs> 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 There's you trying to get another mortar pit, pit up there behind the tree, but. Artillery, get down. Wow, is that Vet 3 now? Yes, it is. Yeah. You can bloody tell. Look at the size of that freaking circle, man. These circles are just Venn diagrams of putridness, aren't they? They're horrible. Yeah. What the hell is that? It's like. <laughs> This is the Venn diagram for finished games and Company of Heroes 3. Note they barely touch each other. <laughs> it's vile, man. It's like, I swear it's just something from whatever engine this is built in or based on. It's like stock assets. These coastals just chugging off, or chugging off the firepower from these bar riflemen like nothing. So brutal to try and fight units inside this DDL. Yeah. Just look at the uh, DDL moving, guys. If you notice, it goes at roughly one meter per second. Sorry, there's a game going on. Hang on. Yep. No. Go back to the DDL. We're just try to work out how long it takes one of those little reticles to go around the entire circumference of the DDL there. Um, Havoc. Pattern M1 is being obliterated by the artillery officers. Iron cannon. Fergie going for tank depot. It's frankly the only choice he can make at this time. Ground 
Jim the Rat King in chat. All they need to do is change the little dots. Oh, you, I see what you've said there. I, I, I won't read that out now. <laughs> oh, dear. Anyway, like, let's guess, chat. One dot, how long does it take to go all the way around the DDL? If we just time one dot going past my cursor and then we count the amount of dots, we could calculate it quite quickly. That's one way. Hmm. Maybe it's... You've counted 172 seconds. Dexen, you're a beast. <laughs> Do you believe Dexen have it? Do you actually think no, that's true? No, there's no way. I think it takes longer than that. Three minutes. I don't know. Three minutes could be on the money. By the way, we got Pathfinders with stealth reconnaissance pushing up. We got the Chaffee, the M1 back in the wrong way. He's trying to get back in there. He does have another carpet bombing run. That's right, he does. Chaffee's been hit by the mortar. This is the last gasp effort of Ferragi's army. Can he make it work? He's got a flank coming in. He's going to go up against a wall of mines. Man. Even if, at this point, Farage managed to push him off, he's just got a wall of mines that he has to walk through. Yeah, fine. 72 munitions only for You're Orange really Pest. bitter about that, aren't you? I, I consider myself a friend of Orange Pest. I'm not like a coach or anything, but I sometimes try and give him advice, like now and again, because I was really wanting him to win tournaments. Now he finally has. I'm not that, like, in involved. I just wanted to finally see him win one. But uh, to see him float 500... Oh, we got a carpet bomber run. Can he move yeah. away? Looks like he will. I'm not Officers so sure about the danger. flank. Oh, yeah. It is danger close. Danger He's close. He's got to retreat that. Oh, he has, oh, but he no. hasn't. And now it's dead. Ferragy can push in. He can possibly take advantage. He is suffering artillery fire, though. He also picked up a mortar with uh, an AT gun. Flak 30 is also dead. Fergie takes that off the field. And he's got the bulldozer Sherman coming to polish it off. Let's see what's going to happen. We've got 69 pop cap for Orange Pest. We've got 74 for Fergie all of a sudden. He's technically in the lead in terms of material. Oh, he's got another artillery officer immediately, by the way. Yeah, he used designated artillery overwatch to deter Farage from further pushing that advantage. He's been under a triple cap for a while. I can't remember if we said the VPs are the wrong way around. I think they... They seem to be correct right now. Farage still teching yeah. down under the triple cap. Good, good. They're, they're the right way around in this replay. Um, so that means, so, yeah, Orange Pest has a pretty decent lead. It's not, an, it, you know, you can't... Just sit back and hope to cheekily have a victory point and win. Mm. He has to play well. All those going south. Rifles trying to hold off until it gets there, but they won't be able to. DDL now He's placed on the munitions retreat. again. Yep. Ready for you, well played to Ferragi. To, to mm -hmm. break out of that whilst the DDL was on your base... Artillery officers back, yo! <laughs> He's got bombs for everybody! Yeah, just calling Ooh, it down on die. himself. <laughs> he should be okay inside of DDL there. Yeah. All importantly, Farage caps the southern victory point, could pick up a coastal. Isn't able to do so. Marder forcing everything off. We've got a flanking Shafi. Oh, it could die, though. It could die. Yeah. Oh, so Empty close gun, to death. Martyr hit. Wow, that extra health from Vet 3 saves him there. Oh, wow, I see. Okay. That's another supply drop, meaning another carpet bombing is coming. So the health, by the way, if you're wondering, he had 560 health points. He was left with 28. Another carpet running now available. Can Ferragy rescue this game? This is insanity. 
He's still holding on. Oh, carpet bombing on the rear. There it is. That could be a dead coastal. Orange Fest looking much more prepared for this one. Yeah, he's got out of there. And the house is about to go down. No, he's still alive somehow. He does take out Orange Fest repair bunker, which would be nice for him. No more threat Captain. of artillery overwatch. Captain dead. Yep, Captain targeted there by Orange Pest. going to cap the central victory point now, it seems. Will he be able to push the M1 AT gun? No, the bulldozer's going to help him out. What a game this has been, Havoc. Mm -hmm. This has been a, a yeah. real good one. I think we overspent our commentary points on probably game one, which was really good as well but game three has probably also been better than game one so far in my opinion yep yeah i have to agree never spend all of your commentary points too early have it <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, the little chaffy that could is just enough health oh the modern nearly kills him again so close have this that time coming in so close 19 for health he had 19 health this time very clutch indeed i agree Bulldozer. I think the um, bulldozer blade's still buggy. You can't clear mines with it, right? No. No, it's still going to take the mine damage. Oh, officer taking a sneaky shot from the dozer behind that building. No, no one wants the central victory point, it seems. Yeah. Archbest still able to keep control, and he's got a medical bunker back there, so he's going to be able to recoup pretty quickly. Watching on from the ruins of this villa in the center. There's not much of it, that's for certain. Oh, he's able to hit that bunker with the AT gun on the other side of the hill. I'm kind of surprised by that. Orange Pest grabbing control of the Southern VP again. Yep. It's very important he does that. He's got Fergie down to double digit victory points at the moment. Mm -hmm. Oh, what a hit! On Good hit. By the way, it's ready yet again. It's almost as though there should be bigger cooldowns in Go 3, am I right? <laughs> oh, this bulk oh. is dead. The North Martyrs. Oh, they're gonna die! Oh, oh, oh. No, the oh, Shaffy dies! The wow. That is lucky for Orange Best, but he needed some luck. He's had some bad luck this series, one would argue. Mm -hmm. yeah, Orange Best sitting on plenty of resources for whatever he chooses. Yeah. He's got a lot banked now, but he's got 70, 70 pop cap. He's manpower starved. He's got a pioneer and a verbal vin building. He feels he's got the 80 covered. Meanwhile, Ferragi, he's at 56 pop cap. He's got a lot of fuel. He's got four rifles still, and he has a Hellcat on the way. Mm -hmm. Good choice. I love me a Hellcat. Definitely. He needs the range against uh, these wormholes, and the AT guns aren't going to cut it as this officer continues to scale up uh, with his overwatch. Ooh, big hit. Artillery officer could go down here. Bulldozer nearly went down as well. A tale of two survivals there in the center of Villa Fiore. Orange Pest getting some good mines down to cover that south VP. He's going to hold on to that for a little bit longer. Good shout, by the way, from Nelly Neal in chat, mentioning that the Pathfinders in... Oh, God, Engineer's dead. But the Pathfinders in the center have been scouting all the while in stealth reconnaissance mode. Recently um, releasing a flare as well to scout even more. Oh, another carpet, Robbie, ready. Where is the cooldown balancing relic? Please. 
start there balancing the cooldowns. It's ridiculous. Two minutes is not enough for a, an ability this powerful. Oh, there's a flag coming in from Orange Beth. He smells blood, but there's the Hellcat defending. Is this a bit foolish from the Swedish player? Oh, if he loses that Wurble, it is, but it looks like he's not going to take any casualties from that. Two pronged assault. He came in the south as well. Ferragi's able to defend it with his army. It's a double cap, though. Orish Pest has also gone to the north and south victory points whilst all this has been going on. Ferragi's dropping down. That stolen M1 has been really paying off for Orange Pest. Has a lot of fuel, but his manpower is starved at the moment. He's got a lot in base, just trying to get back onto the field of operations. Yeah, he just built himself another coastal. Probably to help him secure that middle VP and just keep more field presence there. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good um, show. He's got mines in the north, mines in the south, coastal squads on both points, so he's pretty comfortable there. I think he's just really waiting to pounce on that middle VP and close the game out. We've only got 50 VPs left for Farage. farage has got two Hellcats, a Bulldozer, four healthy Rifleman squads. He is going to go all in. He has yeah, to go all in, surely. Hellcats now out. Bulldozer's hit a mine. So he's going to be out of the picture, unfortunately. Rifle's about to die in the center. He's going through the artillery as well. Ooh, close. Hellcats hit the field. Verbal's going too far forward, perhaps. Yeah, Farage hasn't got this, I don't think. Here comes the cohort in the center to cap the final victory point and seal the deal. Oh, these Verbals are going to chew up that rifle so fast, but Farage knows he needs to hold it. Good so Hellcat nice. flank. Oh, yep. There's the T gun though. Pathfinders go down, by the way. And there's a mine to finish off the Hellcat. And there's a mortar to finish off the other. And there's game three to Orange Pest, it seems to me. Ferragi is not tapping out quite yet, but the referee might just have to save him from his own bravery. GG has been called 2 1. Yeah. Yeah, well played, played by Orange Pest, despite. A pretty difficult looking early game and some early losses. Uh, I mean, you know, I have to say, like, DDL is so unforgiving to play against, and it really allows you to claw back into those longer games. Um, and, you know, once you get critical mass of those Warbulls, uh, Jaeger Shreks, and Martyrs, like, it's pretty impossible to dislodge somebody from a position like that. So. Well played by Orange Pest to maintain control. He finally got his head into laying down enough mines. <laughs> <laughs> and uh yeah, he took a finally took a game off Fergie. First first of this tournament that he's taken because we were at a four wow four games okay. to one now for Fergie. Wowza. Um I shall have you uh, invoking a break now, Havoc, because we don't know if we're going to have to cast two more games or not. Is that okay with you? Yeah, and yeah, you can also, me. by the way, I will just mute my microphone for a Havoc has elected to carry on, everybody. I gave him the option in private, and he's carried on. So, yeah, we're going to have a break, though, now. It's going to be 10 minutes, and then we'll be back with you with Game 4. Thank you.
Shepherd and Coastal. Truly, yeah. like. We're live again, by the way, because uh, Havoc was talking some sense there. He said he really wants to see a game five. He thinks this game is going to be a repeat of game four, three, sorry. Um, you know, I can see what he's saying, but I do think the player profiles are that different that I, I kind of expect anything. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, baby. <laughs> Okay, that wasn't to you, have it by the way. Oh, I thought we finally made it there. No, we, we have made it to you, just uh, we're not quite there yet. <laughs> <laughs> just let me just message you something. Dear. Right. Anyway, so I had a bit of a jump scare there. Let's get on with casting this, shall we? Wait, did I message that to you? I did, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Right then. Aiming for five seconds. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I went to six. Rip. Yeah, I'll go to six in a second. Literally. Uh, hang on. Yeah, I'm at six now, so three, two, one, on pause, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Is that all good? Yeah? Are you happy with that? Yep, yep. Well, so am I, because here we go. We've got game four, and we've got Orange Pest, who won the last game as Vermat on Villa Fiore. This time, Faraji plays Vermat on this map that possibly does favor this this faction and that's why they've saved coastal for it because as we've all seen ddl plus wizard equals uh wait mm -hmm. to win i guess mm -hmm, mm -hmm. we're seeing a two pile opener from fergie instead of orange pest three on orange pest side we're seeing rifleman pathfinder start but only one pathfinder last game we saw an engineer opener and i'm actually kind of surprised about this capture order from orange pest Typically, you want to use your Pathfinder to capture your most valuable points as soon as possible, which would imply that you're going to send them on the north side to capture that plus 10 and plus 16 fuel, but he's opted to send them south instead, and he's going to use the Rifleman to capture the north points, and I just think that's going to slow down his early game a little bit in terms of uh, pressure potential, because the Rifleman's going to take a little bit longer to capture those points. Just looking, it's a relic map, so I'm looking on the edge of the map for any beauty spots. I did spot a viaduct on the edge, which is pretty cool. And that's the only cool thing there was, actually. It's on the north side. If you go all the way there, um, Havoc, you can see, like, a bridge. It's quite a picture. Oh, bridge. yeah. And then yeah, there's, like, a valley nice beyond it as well. Lots of vineyards. Yeah, there's a valley beyond the bridge. It looks kind of cool, actually. But yeah, back to the game. I, I knew there wasn't anything going on, so don't worry about my T-Tours in hmm. chat guys but um yeah there's not much going on to be honest at this point we've got a grenade package on the pathfinder in the south plus a rifleman he's going to be able to push this pioneer off really easily i actually like this is very different than what we're used to seeing where u.s players trying to contend the uh the middle section uh, but it does also leave him a bit exposed to this expansion from Fergie. Yeah, and that was a He's nice flank. He's going points, though. Negated that heavy cover. Mm -hmm. Did well to do so. We got third rifle coming out from Orange Pest. It's an MG from Fergie, something that Orange Pest did not use in that previous game. And I wonder if it's because this map has so many hedgerows uh, mm. and, and such. So we'll see if Fergie can make great use of the MG42. Excellent smoke on that green cover by Orange Pest. He's not able to defend that point now with the smoke covering that. And he's going to get the decap off on both of these points. Give him an answer, boys. Right, here comes Farage's swarm. Orange Pest trying to get behind this heavy cover on this road over here. That could help him. He's going to go further than that, though. There is actually. Yeah. Has anybody ever been down there? There's some steps. <laughs> 
Yeah, there's, I mean, there's nothing down there. I don't think there's anything at the bottom of the steps. It's Come really on. great that he's got his Pathfinder here, though, because he's told, he was able to scout and see that Ferigi had concentrated all of his forces on the south side of the map to recapture those points. And now his riflemen are capturing that middle section completely uncontested. So when we're spotting for map hackers, it's stuff like that, moving around and invading your opponents. But with Pathfinders, it's natural map hacks havoc. You see everything pretty much. Mm -hmm. The range mm -hmm. is crazy. We'll show that now. Um, so reveal map for Orange Pest. Good flank here Pathfinder. in the south. Look at that. Machine gun's kind of in the perfect spot to deal with this. Yeah. But he does have his fourth rifle. He's gonna be able to push in here. A little surprised not to see grenade tech from Orange Pest. He's usually an early grenade enjoyer. And it would have <laughs> been like perfect against this composition. It would have been perfect literally right there. You're bang on. He would have had multiple mm -hmm. targets at his disposal. And he just didn't go for that, no. Totally could have taken the wind away from uh, Fergie if he was able to get an early steal on the machine gun. He does push it away, though. He's got his medical tent up, which is great. It's going to keep him from bleeding any more models on some very low health squads. Captain's out as well. And to be honest, I think Orange Pest has had the better of it so far. He's 10 kills mm -hmm. to 4. Um, yep. Indicating, of course, great manpower pressure applied by the Scandinavian. Yep. Um, we are going to see the 221 most likely be built as soon as the Luftwaffe company goes up. Uh, so we'll see if Fergie is able to apply some of that pressure back. In terms Still of very good fuel control in the middle despite that engagement. That yeah, it's been decent from Fergie. Keeping those plus 5 fuels is no joke. Mm -hmm. That's a plus 10 if you add them up, Havoc. So it's just a bit of trivia for you there. Trivia. <laughs> you never thought you'd learn anything if you uh, cast with me, but uh, I'm making you, you know, making you a better player all the time. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's all good. You should uh, probably pay it's me. The truth. Okay, so Coastal's backing up thanks to the rifle nade from Orange Pest. Well seen by Faraji and easily dodged, but still pretty cool to see. Is he going to use the smoke here? Yeah, he's going to smoke the machine gun and close in with these riflemen. This is a great play. Oh, but the DDL. Still grenades, though. Ignores oh, yeah, the your great play. Cancel the push. Let's all go home. Yeah. Mortar going up from Orange Pest. I have to say, I kind of disagree with this. Uh, and I actually think this is where Farage's build in the last game was better. Um, we're looking at a 260 manpower investment right now for the mortar. If you go for the engineer plus mortar pit, it's 300 manpower. So only a difference of 40. And you also have the added potential firepower of a flamethrower, which is super handy in the middle. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. I like what you're saying. And the mortar pit has larger range. Yes, that too. <laughs> Faster veterancy as well. There's just no downsides to mortar pit on this map. You want to get Larry in the center there. Mortar starting to have an effect. It's to lay down smoke and stop that MG having an angle. He's just not going to be able to push into this DDL, though. Even with the four riflemen that he's got. And Fergie jockeying around that building. He's going to be able to buy himself lots of time, despite what Orange Pest would otherwise be able to use as a great manpower advantage. But the positioning is just too difficult to get. I think we're in for another long one here. Yeah. In fact, I know we are. I'm sensing it. I'm sensing some very upset wives havoc today. <laughs> <laughs> On both sides of the Atlantic, unfortunately. Yeah. Oh, no. M1 coming from Orange Pest. Farajee's got his first Jaeger built. Shrek is already flanking. up. Rifles flanky, but they're running straight mind. into a mine there. Oh, wow. That could hurt. There's two on their retreat path. No, they've naturally gone the other way. Jaegers have checked the Fergie. I'm pretty sure Havoc said that. Um, victory points, are they the right way around? Just about to confirm. No, they're not. The victory points are flipped this game. 
So mm. just remember that Orange Pest has the blue victory points. Got it. Greyhounded production for Orange Pest. Lo sitting on lots of munitions. Wondering what he's gonna do with those. I mean, even here, you're looking at, you know, if it, let's swap out the uh, mortar here for an engineer. And if we had had a double mortar pit on the other side of these hedges, that would be pretty dangerous for yep. Farage. Um, hoping to see this mortar do some work, but just not optimistic considering DDL is going to allow him to heal up between engagements. This is one of the things that really frustrated me about playing against Farage's Coastals, is he was really good about taking engagements, taking a little bit of um, health damage on his models, and then just backing up and Oh, back he's just control. done it now! Yeah. Jaegers took 5% health and then went for free heals inside yeah. their incredible magic circle. Yeah. It's just... It's just... Farage's so seasoned at playing around DDL. Watch the kill differential start to spread in Farage's favor. Okay, so as it's literally, literally on. as you said it, it went from 15-15 to 17-15. Havoc, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. that is great game sense, my friend. I am very eager to see how that 15-15 becomes like 30-15 over the next few minutes. Look yeah. at that, he's cycling in and out over and over, mm -hmm. healing his units. I, I hate this ability for that reason. It's so horrible to play against with indirect fire. Um... And you would have seen it in my game against Orange Pest as well. It's just like, it's so impossible to actually kill anything and do meaningful, lasting damage because of this on the field heal. On the you can field see Orange heal. Pest right now, he's like, I don't know what to do. Like, I can't, you know, I can't close in. I can't deal meaningful damage. I think on the field heals have been the bane of Co3's existence because team games have yeah. been ruined by them. Um, and now yeah. we've got 1v1 yep. being ruined by them as well. Yeah. Browning automatic rifle. Roger that. We won't yeah. reinforce without your Browning's in tech for Orange Pest. First Werbles coming out for Fergie, and the train is going to be coming. He's already got two Jaegers out. He's going to have the double Shrek available, and the Greyhound's not going to be able to pull the weight it needs to. Yep. You can tell, by the way, Orange Pest is constantly thinking about mines. He doesn't have a mine sweeper, though, but he's worried about mines because he's second-guessing his movements with his Greyhound just now, for example, and then doing a Ring of Eight Donut, of course. Mm -hmm. But, um, he's, yeah, he's worried, you can tell. There's something he's, he doesn't want to go in there with the M8. And that means the M8's out of the game. Just the psychological threat of mines means yeah. the M8 is out of the game. As we all know, mines are the most powerful thing in tournament level company here is playing. It's been that way since 2006. You know, it's never gone away. Mm. In 2000, in company here too, it wasn't as powerful at times, but it soon just, yeah, it became the thing again, of course. There we go. Engineer coming out for Orange Pest. He's probably going to go for that sweeper. There it is. Yep. He's going to be on the hunt for those because he knows that Fergie's not going to be far away from Coastal Wall, which is going to oh. give him those 19 munition mines. That's um, a massive And you can see, if you just take a quick look around the designate defensive line, you can already see that Fergie has four mines laid on a perimeter on the outside of the DDL. Uh, to deter any kind of pushes in to try to decapture that point. Can we? Can you just do a micro pause a second? I'm at 12, 18, 12, 19, 19 12, yeah, 20. 20. yeah, sorry, I accidentally hit pause. Um, but yeah, do you know why I hit pause? Because I was going to look at tactical pause to look at the mines being planted. <laughs> and then I realized I'm casting with somebody else. Your brain on the fourth game of casting. Defend our victory point. We're losing it. Warble pushing off the south. Second Warble coming out for Farage and Orange Pest just he just doesn't have what he needs to deal with this. And frankly, he can't, you know. Um, he would have to triple down on motor pool vehicles and against so many mines and Jaegers with Shreks, it's just so risky to do that. Right, Bard Rifles in the north, contingent of forces in the south. Right. 
Fergie still retaining VP dominance with two two points captured now. Um, I just don't see how anything can happen here besides things getting worse for Orange Pest. Yeah, no. That's why kind of the hype's going on my casting commentary because I just think Fergie is so good as Wehrmacht and he is set up so well right now. How can you beat Farage's coastals on this map? How does that even it's, happen? I don't. I don't even think it's possible. I've been saying for a while that when you're looking at players of equal skill on a map like this with coastals in the equation, specifically designate defensive line. There's just. It, it seems unplayable to me. I. It's a formula I haven't solved. Chaffee from Orange Pest, I think, is the right choice here. He needs something that's going to threaten these werewolves, but. I don't know, I just think Farage's gonna keep massing up. Hey, look at the kill differential like we talked about, you yeah, know, in the last yeah. five minutes. Five kills for Orange Pest, 15 for Farage. Well, as you say, this map with designated defensive line is so difficult to beat. All Farage had to do was win his Wehrmacht game. As soon as they had, both of them had coastal reserves on Villa Fiore. And it was 2-0 up already for Farage. It was pretty much just a waiting time after that. And one in a good spot to defend these rifles, but the problem is, you know, he's dealing damage to deter the Werbles, but now he's got these half-strength riflemen on the field that just aren't going to cut it when trying to push in. Well, let's give him try a anyway. Yeah, let's give him some credit. Let's see what he can do here. Let's... He's got, it's not armored though, he's got no seek and destroy, mm -hmm. you know, I just don't see how he's going to do this. He's got 6 CPs to carpet bomb, so if he gets a good, like a good carpet bomb can completely flip a game on its head. So I'm going to remain optimistic for Orange Pest, but Six right now he's just bomb. slowly choking to Farage's control play here. Dude, you can't, like 6 CPs is so far away. <laughs> I mean, victory points, Orange Pest always somehow gets victory points. I mean, he's only got 350 at the moment compared to Farage at 431. But if you consider, like, if we bring up the graph of points held, my favorite graph, by the way, mm. um, you can see that Farage has had a massive um, advantage ever since the DDL went up. DDL went up, uh, by the way, around the 10 minute mark, and ever since that, it's been all Farage. He's just going to keep fortifying. He's going to keep building vehicles. Um, and, you know, it's going to get to the point where Orange Pest vehicles aren't going to be able to contend anymore. And he's going to need to go tier 4. And that oh, means he's he going to get the captain. More he saved the captain with the Pathfinder at the <gasps> last second there. Oh. With the smoke, it was absolutely clutch. Really cool. And then the captain died anyway. Oh, no. <laughs> How did he die anyway? He sprained his ankle on the retreat path. What got him? Oh no! He just kind of. I heard Captain died anyway. Oh, the coastal got him. Ray saw the coastal get him. Oh, that's a shame. I thought there was hope. There is no hope. Honestly, it might be worth a rebuild. 200 manpower, you've got the nice LMG, the sprint ability, vet one. Fire an orange best shoes, I'd rebuild that captain. It's not gonna do any meaningful damage to these Jaegers. Someone in chat said they wanted a second AT gun for orange best, that's what we're seeing. It's a double AT gun for him, but he has got all these hedgerows on the right way still. He's had nothing that's able to crush them at this point. Yeah. This is the right choice, but one of the things that you're going to see is Farage is very conscious of what the AT guns can shoot at in the center area, and so he's going to be really careful in positioning his Whirlpools um, to make sure that they're not taking any critical hits. Officer on the field. We've only got two infantry kills on Orange Pest Mortar. Oh, not good. Oh, big mine in the south. Orange Pest is not. There's another one. He's crawling towards oh. the other one. 
Oh dear. Enemy contact. Yeah. We must pull this back. We're down to 300 points. 300 points remain for Orange Pest now. 431 for Ferragi. If you look at the map, it's now a triple cap. How does Orange Pest get out of this? Now let's see what he's got in base. He has logistics teched, so that's going to help him with the bleed. Mortar pits going up. There we go. I really like to see that. I honestly think he needs to stack these things up. Um, yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. I think that would be a good call. Verge is so consistent with his tactics. Everything behind mm -hmm. the heavy cover. Double planting mines for efficiency, by the way. Double pioneers. <laughs> All right, Orange Pest does not have the munitions. There we go. He's now getting the mortar on the bunker. Oh, he's just, he's trying to apply some pressure on these flanks, but he can't because Ferriger keeps dropping these double mine setups down. Yep. Well, that one hadn't been hit from before. Orange Pest is hitting mines all over the place. Yeah, he had an engagement on the north side, but the same thing happened. Ferrici's playing in that Love Nest style. It's very reminiscent of Co2 Love Nest at the moment. Mm -hmm. Just really, yeah. really tight fundamentals, excellent tactical awareness, and mines upon mines upon mines. Yeah. This, and this kill differential continues to spread. Yep. What is it now? I've taken the overlay off. 61 to 36. Oh, that's nearly double digits. Third Sorry. Orbital coming out for Farage, plus a Jaeger. We're up, <laughs> I just don't know how he's going to break this. It's unbreakable. 3-1 this series, definitely. Havoc and I sense it. That's why we're not casting it. We're a bit tired as well, and our wives have shouted at us. But um, yeah, that's why, you know, we're casting with a little bit of uh, defeatism in the air. Not what I meant, free bird in chat was sorry. It's nearly, uh, nearly a two KD. I meant to say sorry. I meant double KD, two KD. If you get my meaning. Your brain on four games of code <laughs> begins to disintegrate. M118 guns are trying to fight back here. He's got to pick something off. He has to. Yes, he he's trying Fergie to spread just himself. keeps climbing to critical mass. He's already pop capped with a Jaeger in production. Oh my god. And Orange Pest is at 64. Fergie with a superior play. It has to be said, he's just played better. His manpower yeah. preservation has been off the scale compared to Orange Pest's. Maud yeah, is facing yeah. down the Chaffee as well. This is going to be the death knoll. In the north, what's happening up there? Rifleman barely surviving, eking out a living. Oh no, the rifle's going to go down as well. So close, so very close. Jaegers want to kill that rifle. Oh, couldn't get it off. Meanwhile, the mortar is up against the uh, coast. Oh, he was there. firing at the Greyhound. Very lucky. Right, another Chaffee in production for Orange Pest. That feels... Oof. Mm -hmm. Really does. Consider Ferragy's ultra, ultra, ultra meta. Super build order. 100 pop cap in your face. What are you going to do again mm. about that? I'm just looking at, like, Fergie has five infantry units stacked up in his base doing nothing, and he still has just perfect map control. <laughs> it's brutal. Mine's, mine's like the ghost army from Lord of the Rings Return of the King. That's right. Yeah. Tick off your AE casting bingo cards, ladies and gentlemen. Lord of the Rings reference. But uh, it's like your ghost army. It's just there, and it's going to win the game for you. It's like, oh, my God. I don't even like to say mines win games, but they just... It's such a cliche, but it just angers me when um, players don't play in such a fashion to respect that. And I don't feel that Orange yeah. Pest fully respected 
the mind meta of tournament level company heroes. Yeah. Uh, Havoc pointed out a great tip, by the way. If he'd gone Mortar Bunker instead of a Mortar, he would have had the manpower for a Engineer to get a Minesweeper out. Oh. That mean, <laughs> looking at Orange Pest, he's got double Mortar Pit and a standard Mortar. And he just cannot crack or do meaningful damage to Fergie's forces on the DDL. No, he can't. Oh, he can't even wipe the MG. Yeah. It's just... He is capping the Southern Victory Point. That's going to slow the bleed, leaving him with 79 in the tank. And that's just not enough for this point in the game. 24 minutes in. the mortar pit's doing something. It, it, finally, he's gone for that. Are you yeah. happy with that, Havoc? Do you reckon there's some, any I, light? I mean, I'm happy to see the pits, but I really think it's too little too late. Like, you can it, just pick one unit, okay? And if you watch it for long enough, you'll notice that Orange Pest will hit it with a mortar two times, three times, bring it down to 25% HP. And Fergie just does a quick soft retreat back. Um, Goes back to full health in about 15 seconds, and then he's back on the front. And it's just, it's just too little, too late at this point. No, it's not. The carpet bombing will save him, surely. He's gonna get all this munitions in base, and he's gonna get the carpet bombing run in your face. It's coming. It's coming, Havoc. Go. You gotta believe. I believe. You know what? If anything's gonna turn this around, it's gonna be a great carpet bomb. So I'm all here for it. I'm going to give you some hope as well, Havoc. I can see on my task bar in Windows, Discord, Discord is full of six notifications right now. Message okay. notification. That could be further replays. That could be a Game 5 replay. Maybe this one ends with the most glorious carpet bombing of all time. The Viet Cong won't see it coming. I mean, Fergie will never see it coming. <laughs> Oh, in the north, Greyhound's gone all the way in there. It seems we're still a little bit off for uh, Cobbit Homing, actually, despite the... He's got a second horrible here for support. He's just yes. going to bully this thing out. The, uh... Ooh, couldn't harass the victory point in the center, but he is staying on 50 for now. Look at those mortars coming in. The Coastals have to dodge it. Right, there we go. Carpet bombing unga engaged. 180. And he can click it at any moment. He's going to get another chaffy. He's got four rifles, all of which are oh, veterans. See, two or one. He's got two bars apiece on each of them. He's got the mortars to follow up. Let's freaking go, have it. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got a second chaffy coming in here, which I think is the right call where we're at. Uh, Fergie doesn't know what to do with his resources at this point, so he's just building <laughs> machine gun bunkers. He's got so much! Alright, Greyhound's going in a little bit. Let's see what Orange Pest is doing here. Greyhound's leading the way, it seems. Just trying to spot for targets. I mean, we've got an engagement in the north. The here it comes. Yeah, here it comes. Here it comes. What's he going to hit? Coastals are retreating the hard way. Will the MG get out of there? Not sure, not sure. Uh, he's just getting a bunker. He got a bit of an MG as well. Hit the house. Where the rest of his follow-up? Where's he going to get in there? He managed to lose a Chaffee in the north while he was... You're joking. ...setting up for that. So, yeah, so I'm not sure. I'm not oh, sure he's going to be able to be too aggressive. No, his VP's ticking down again as well now. Yeah, yeah. Look at these verbals, three of them. Yeah, Mortar support, brutal. Shrek support, double Shreks, by the way. That M1's in a bad spot. Just 
Chaffee coming up to help. Yep, getting some good shots in. May actually yep. take out a verbal here. Ah, oh, one's gone down in the south. One's nice. gone down in the north. There is life in the old Swedish dog, yet. He's got the central victory point, leaving him on 39 VPs. He's at 63 pop cap, Ferragy at 80. Ferragy spent his resources on another verbal. He was able to cap the center there, Havoc. Yeah. Order is continuing to pound away at this VP. Ferragy wants that decap, he's gonna get it. Oh, he takes out a coastal, oh. it seems. Yeah, Can very get low. It? DDL might be too much though. Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> I had the funniest comment in Twitch from Daniel D. Um, someone said, what were they thinking when they invented DDL? And then Daniel D says, I need to find a way to beat DevM's rifle play. Because <laughs> they all get destroyed by DevM in internals, don't they? Every day. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I feel like they always put Marco up against him too. I'm like, this poor guy. Like, you guys need to have a ro <laughs> roster rotation here, you know? Yeah. What are you going to do? They got Mirage Floor and Tarnation. They're like top 50 and top 100 at best. And DevM's a triple time world champion, winner of 18 cups. It's like, it's not going to happen, is it? DevM wants Snoo Snoo. No, please. We've played enough Eternals this week. <laughs> DevM wants Snoo Snoo. <laughs> Another coastal could go down here. Bard rifles. Ah, they're obliterated, however. And this cap oh, is God. all important. There's one in the south. Pioneers have gone there. This could be the end now for Orange Pest. He needs to make it happen. Oh, in the north, Greyhound stops the cap. Takes out the MG, but Maud is there to finish the job. Bye bye, Greyhound Vetsu. He can't see him. He can't see him in the yeah, center, however. No rifles fighting. Oh, the verbal can. Then the mortar saw him in the center. Rifles need to cap, but another verbal appears. Rifle have to retreat. This he's on 39 victory points now. Nothing's been capped as of yet. Grenade. Get neutral across the board. You never see this. <laughs> Playing in Switzerland. <laughs> that grenade damage. My yeah. <laughs> Nothing. He didn't even need to retreat, to be honest. Oh, he did like 25% damage. Move complete. Orange Best has 227 fuel, but he's using all the manpower he can right now because he needs to get boots on the ground. We're at a 132 to 91 kill differential, so Orange Best has really picked up his kill count, but he's not outpacing Farage. No, but he's staying alive somehow. Victory points for Farage are ridiculous, so at 365, Farage has 90 pop cap. He's got a ver two Burbles, a Mordor, a 2-2-1, two, two, two Jaegers, three Coastals. Uh, sorry, three Jaegers, my bad. Three Coastals. At, oh, it's an Artillery Officer, two Pioneers. It's insanity. How do you compete against that? When you find out, let me know. Because <laughs> I've been trying to figure it out. Right, we get a Supply Drop, which of course will lead to another Carpet Bombing Run. Got the central victory point in American hands. He's coming to compete with, for it with the rifle, staying on 39. He's only dropped 10 in the last five minutes. Here comes Hair Verbally Vindy. That grenade easily dodged in the south. Meanwhile, in the north, rifles pushing as hard as they can. Over and over they go, but. Oh, he's going to lose one. Orange Pest, what are you doing, son? Danger close, my friend. And he's pushed away in the south as well. That could be the end, Havoc. He's going to go there now in the center. Oh, no. He, needs to, he hasn't picked up his ammunition in the, the base either, Havoc. He forgot to pick up the ammunition crates. Yeah. Havoc's gone in. Sorry, not Havoc. Oh, my God. And Chaffee's gone in. He's hit several mines. He's going to get taken out. Here comes that incendiary AT grenade. Havoc, this Chaffee was you. It's yeah. brutal. Yeah. 
Yeah, this is this is truly ruthless application of the designate defensive line at the top level and honestly I pray to God that I don't see this ability next patch. It's so it's exhaust it's as exhausting, if not more so, to play against as it is to watch. It's awful, yeah. It's really bad. Dude, I like that. You can play this combination with literally 10 APM and a cool beverage in your other hand. <laughs> Pretty I'm much. inclined to agree with you. I think Faraji's literally been doing that in a tournament grand final. He's had all those units in base at one point or another. Yeah, he had five units stacked up there. Just hanging out. Well, when you enter god mode, it's difficult to leave it. 12 VPs left for Orange Pest. He was able to cling on and cap the sensor. What does he have coming? No vehicles left! Oh, the house yeah. has gone down! That means it's a good game. Ah, oh, here comes the end. There's no one coming to stop this, I don't think. Here, well, three rifles emerging from base. Oh, they need to get in there. That's not going to cut it against... Uh, what does it got here? One wearable, two wearables. Three wearables fall. The airburst doing the real damage. <laughs> oh, airburst just about keeping him in. They sent one rifle down south just as a precaution. He's staying alive on 12 VPs. Orange Best isn't going anywhere. At least this is psychologically good for next weekend, you have to say. Mm -hmm. Carpet bombing run, gonna have no luck, yep. there's no one there, no one home. Fergie with the big dodge. God, it's a meat grinder. Really is, in the south, we've got two pioneers pushing on those rifles. Oh, coastal down to mortar, leaving Fergie on only 89 pop cap. Got nothing. He's gone for a Nebel Verfa. Oh my. That's exactly what Orange Best doesn't oh, want right yeah. now. It's called a game engine, that is. Oh, and Vet 3 now for the artillery officer as well. Oh, no. Nebel Verfa plus Vet 3 RT officer. How are you going to cap that central pitch point? The answer on it is you're not going to cap it. Meanwhile, the north, by the way, there's three. You just check out the north. Three idle units, a Vet 3 Verbalvind, a Marder, and a Jaeger. Just yeah, he's done nothing with those units for the last five minutes or so. <laughs> oh, he's probably gone downstairs to get himself a cold one as well during this game, by the way. <laughs> Thanks to the raid, Alpernosaurus. Cheers, dude. Just in time to see the DDL circle ticking down and Orange Pest victory points ticking down. Count them with us, children. GG well played. Orange Pest recognizes that Ferragi is now the man to beat. And he may have won this minor tournament. He's got his eyes on an even bigger prize starting next mm -hmm. weekend. But uh, I, I think that's a big win for Ferragi. His first, um, it was second ever tournament win. After a Master League last year. Mm -hmm. But but he's he's yeah. He's on the warpath now. Yeah, Farage's in great form right now. You saw you know his his infantry engagement prowess on top of his patience and min maxing of the use of designate defensive line to really start to cause that choke on on Orange Pest, uh, as he got critical mass, you know, Werbles, Jaeger Shreks, um, and the guy had enough resources to go to 150, 160 pop cap. Mm. Um, as the game dragged on, and Orange Pest, you know, he gave it a good effort, but I just, I, I haven't solved that, that map, um, and especially, especially against that strategy, and evidently, Orange Pest, you know, having the same sort of issues that we all seem to have, and Fairy yeah. had in the previous game against Orange Pest. It's just so tough to deal with. Right, yeah, I completely agree. Havoc and Fairy's now the man to beat. We're all all eyes on this patch. Is it this week? 
Is it coming this week, the patch? Tuesday. Tuesday, okay. Well, let's hope the patch notes are reinvigorating in time yeah. for the resurgence, because otherwise we're screwed. <laughs> Absolutely screwed. Um, Battle group ability unlocked. Right then. We've got a game on our hands now. See this post there, children? That is going to be the, uh, the the one we use to judge it, the DDL time. Because the, the game content we're going to do, Havoc, you can leave, by the way. Everybody, just before we do this, thank Havoc. He actually requested to, to cast today. Uh, I really appreciate it. I'm going to give him some sub gifts next time I see him online. I appreciate um, but, that. Yeah, no problem. But go check out his Twitch channel, please. This is everybody on YouTube as well. Just give him a follow on Twitch because he's relatively new to Twitch streaming. He's probably got a th yeah 1,300 followers. So go give him some love. Um, and yeah, please please do. Yeah, he, he deserves it. He really does. Thank you, Havoc. Thank you. But Thank we are you. now going to count that poll there. Here we go. Right. So I'm going to follow that one around there. Keep my cursor on it. Any guesses how long it's going to take, guys? It's going to be hype. I think you can leave if you want. Oh, we're, mate, by the we're way. Talk oh, no, I'm invested in this. What are we talking about? A 360-degree uh, rotation, right? Yeah, it has to get to that pole in the south again. Oh, I might lose it temporarily. Like... I kind of feel like four minutes, maybe. Wait, there's two of them now. Oh, it's just what? jumps. It jumped. What the hell? It jumped. Oh, I have to keep. I have to follow it now because it just started to f up and jump around. Okay, Ralph, please just just make your circle with your things make sense. I'm better. Oh, yeah, it becomes two temporarily. There, I saw that. It's still the same one though. I I'll lose it in the bushes. It's okay. I'm at uh, exactly. Ace it. Ridgey, why is this important? Hey, explain yourself. Why is this important? Why do we need to know this? Um, Because, is that the one I was following? <laughs> oh, that's the one I was following. Yeah, it was. Okay. It, it like, is. disappears coming out. Okay. Yeah. It's really important. Some of you even ask that. <laughs> 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 this is important. I've got a stopwatch running on this. Come on, guys. How long do you think this is? What are we at right now? We're about halfway. I'm not, I don't want to lose it. So I've, I've, lo lost, okay. I've, I've lost my stopwatch. I didn't put it on my second monitor. It's it's hidden. It's submerged. I could just stop and look at it as it goes past this northern point. So wait, wait for that, wait for that next too. point to pass the bush and then just pop it open really quick so we know. No, that's cheating. That, if we just times that by two, I feel that's cheating. Is it not that no, cheating? No, 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 no. I'm not saying wait to... I'm just saying check now. Check now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got my eye. You got like it's 10 seconds. literally... Two minutes? I think it's Ooh. a four minute. Yeah, it could be four minutes. <laughs> it's going to be close. It's going to be it's... close to four minutes. I think it's that one. I think it's four minutes. Should we end here or should we see it out? <laughs> <laughs> I can see which one it is. It's up there. Come on, guys. <laughs> More than four minutes. Farage, well played today, mate. Yeah. Are you beatable, Farage? Do you feel beatable at the moment? Is there anybody that can take you down? Who do you fear? Oh, that's a good question. Sometimes people are in the zone, bro. Yeah. I think it's one degree a second. So 360... Oh, that's an interesting statement. Zulu? Yeah, yeah. I'd like to see that. Six minutes, you think? Interesting. Everybody is beatable. Oh, that's a lovely answer. But you have to recognize, Farage, that right now you're playing um, on another level. You've got your strats down as well. I'm a big fan of your build orders and your patience. And your um, brutality at exploiting the exact meta of Gummy Heroes 3. Yeah. It's very good. Yeah. Very good to see. It's great. I hate it. It's brutal. <laughs> makes me right. makes me hurt makes me hate myself every time. Oh, I brought a chat now I've lost the one. It's either this one or this one. Well, it's definitely four minutes. I think it's that one, I'm gonna say. Or is it this one? Shit. Oh, 
that screwed up so hard. Well, if it's a round number, we know it's one of these two where, anyway. Where where did he where did you start from? Was it the fence post? This post, yeah. Oh, okay. This is not okay, I know then... I tried, Daniel, but I got distracted. I realized this is for YouTube. People can't see what Farage's playing. Yeah, he doesn't want to play you on Fame and Farage. No, no, he doesn't he, want to. Yeah, I, I don't want that, man. Oh, I jumped forward two times, bullet. Okay, I'll go back to here then. <laughs> if that's the case. I trust Bullet. I trust him. I I was just <laughs> confused if it was this one or this one. <laughs> well, I'm gonna say it's this one. Okay. What are we at now? What are we at? I uh, okay. Just keep your eyes on that one, guys. They see that yeah. one or the one behind. Okay. What's the Four time minutes thirty. Four thirty? Wow. Okay, yeah. I, I'll, I won't touch the game. Possibility. But yeah, I guess four minutes. Yeah. It's way longer than we thought. It's way longer. Oh, we're not I'm glad we engage in science. That's... I love it. There we go. There we go. It's exactly... Five minutes! Yay, children! It's exactly five minutes. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Uh, you know what? You should bring you should bring uh Farage in for a champions interview. I should Havoc. Let's relieve Havoc. Yeah. Let's bring Farage in. Thanks so much, Havoc. All right, Farage. Cheers. Yeah, thanks for having Get me. Get on up here, bro. Oh, Farage even sent a fake replay. Thank you, Farage. I haven't asked Farage's permission. I'm just calling him. I forgot what his English is like. I think. Hi, he's... everyone. How is it doing? How are you doing, mate? You okay? Yeah, I am feeling uh, pretty good, but it was these were pre uh, pretty good games. I am feeling tired. Very good games, yeah. Like, okay, let's talk through the games then, shall we? So first of all, it was Feynmanville, and you played US on Feynmanville. I think game one was a really good game. Um, how would you characterize your win versus Orange Pests uh, Vermats on that game? How did that go for you? Uh, overall, I had the upper hand because I picked them up. I was uh, pretty confident and I knew that uh, I am going to start this USF and most likely I am going to face versus Breakthrough Battle Group because MP40 is working pretty well on, uh, on Fame and Will because there is a lot of shot blockers, you can hide behind bushes and the fast verbal wins uh, can be really painful to the USF player. Yeah. So that's why I picked the Armored Battle Group to uh, counter the fast verbals with fast chaffies. Because now, Orange... if yeah, sorry, yeah, just say it. Sorry. On. Now, Orange Pest is a big boy, um, so he won't mind us talking about any mistakes he made. But do you feel like game one was a uh, product of your excellent play as USF, or do you feel that your opponent could have played better as Wehrmacht? Uh, to be honest, I felt a little bit rusty in the first game. Uh, okay. If you watch back, you can see I floated plus one hundred manpower. Uh, in the beginning of the game when I just have to, had to build uh, more rifles. So I was a little bit squishy in that game, but uh, maybe he could play a bit more aggressive with his verbals. But yeah. uh, I always try to pl uh, play with my chaffies a little bit uh, behind to uh, let hide my chaffies because it's really hard to guess uh, where is the enemy chaffies because that's the only counter versus a verbal wind rush. Well, you went very aggressive with your chaffies and it caught everybody off guard in game one. Do you enjoy that sometimes, like playing differently to your usual play style? Because usually you're quite safe. Do you sometimes usually think, do you like the roll of the dice to surprise your opponent at, at times? Um, yeah, many people saying that I am a really cautious player, but how I feel, I am a cautious player, but I really And those were really boys, Ivan, because uh, he had no scouting at all. So I could have a eager just uh, one behind one of the bushes. And sometimes he just uh, straight died my 2-1, for example. 
but it worked um, so well played yeah. to him but uh, if there is a jaeger but i misplayed i i could uh, put a jaeger into the two to one to defend it but i didn't expect orange pass to do that chaffy dives but it's also understandable uh, because after he lost that first jeep in the second game he was uh, uh back for sure and he had to do some uh, not expected plays to come back to the game. Yeah, and in game two, of course, he played with his jeeps. He was very aggressive. Um, he must have been thinking, screw this, I'm going to go for you. And he lost a jeep to a Garen, uh, playing a little bit overly aggressive, perhaps. Uh, I think game two, we don't need to analyze too much because I don't feel Orange Pest ever truly got back into it. But um, on Villa Fiore... It was a different situation. Uh, we had a great game three with a lot of carpet bombing spam from yourself, but you just weren't able to crack the nut. Uh, and then game four, I would like to say you kind of showed how it's done. I don't think anybody plays Vermat quite as good as you in this game right now. Um, what is it that everybody else is missing? Why is your Vermat so good, Ferragy? Um, I would say maybe the APM because I spent many time just to uh how was that called just to move the coastal back and forth and not losing any models and uh, that's how i could get uh, on pop cap really fast because i had nearly no manpower bleed but i would yeah. do differently i would uh, drop down a medic bunker much earlier to uh, save more manpower because the bunker just reinforcing the models for free yeah but yeah, that that's where I spent most of my APM just to uh, move my units back and forth to heal up and just go back and fight. Mm. And I knew that uh, I am not going to win versus Orange Best on that map if I just uh, dive in and and all in, because also I knew that with the DDL and with uh, that battle group, I, I have the upper hand on the long run if I am not uh, going to die uh, to carpet bombs, because that's the only thing how USF can win versus that set on that map, in my opinion. How, If you were balancing the game, how would you change DDL? Uh, I would make it smaller for sure, because yeah. on some, ma some maps, it uh, nearly covers the VP, like you could see on uh, Villa Fiora, or DDL works pretty well on Fame as well, but I think Breakthrough is a bit better. Do you see similarities in your playstyle to a prime Loveness from Co2? Uh, my favorite players, but I always uh, uh, try to learn from. That was Lo Loveness and uh, De I and Devon. I yeah. think the best playstyle is their mix, and yeah. th that's that's how I I am trying to play. Sometimes I I have to be uh, a bit more aggressive, but. As you said, I am a really cautious uh, player, so I am always trying to scout before making a push or making a play. Well, Devon would do that as a, as he wasn't pants on head aggressive. He was very, very uh, tactical. But uh, but when when he pushed, he made YouTube videos on it. It was like you you never push with lone squads, and sometimes you just be a nuisance. You spread around the map to be annoying. He said, but then sometimes you you do your reconnaissance, you do your planning, and then you push. And when you push, you commit. Um, you know, he, he made it sound so simple, of course. But, uh, I mean, of course, right now you are looking more like a Loveness kind of style player, but I'm very eager to see um, when you have to, when you play really aggressively, it's going to be fun to watch Farage. Um Hopefully, with this big prize pool next two weekends, we're going to get some people to challenge you. It's going to be good. Yeah, I am going to prepare for it for sure. But yeah, I agree that that's how it looks like from from outside. Definitely, I, at the moment, uh, I'm more like lo uh, Lovenest or close to that playstyle, but that's a really big compliment for me. So thank it, you it for is. that. Well, I noticed it last year. Like people, Obviously, I'm a noob player, but I'm, no one has more experience of watching top-level players play within replay mode than in tournament conditions than me because of course imperial bane but like in tournament conditions primarily and and like there were certain things you were doing early on in the master league season last year and i i, I keep bringing this up but i mentioned to orange special you have to watch this farage guy you really have to watch him because you were playing with minds and pushing very intelligently and being really manpower pre uh, 
preservation focused and it was very rem reminiscent of the, t the top players of the past so yeah you, you should take the compliment because you've clearly put the hard work into your play style so yeah take the compliment dude well done yeah thank you so much well done mate um let's see what's gonna happen next weekend we have ray we have jezulin we have orange pest these are three people that i think could challenge you in my opinion i think it's it's any of those four players to win we do have the um signups finished now um i have a sheet somewhere so let's go and open that up and show it on screen have a little look together maybe I think I updated this. I hope more people are uh, going to come back. Because Jibber is uh, also uh, started to scream. Yeah, he, he's top 18, so he needs two people to not check in on the day to be in the tournament. Uh, he <laughs> so... will be in the top 16, don't worry about it. Uh, oh, right. Uh, we still have time to march one to get the ranks up. If I'm of right. course you do. Yeah, sorry. My bad. Of course you do. I forgot about that. This is just the who's finished signing up. My bad. I forgot. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for correcting me. How so can it's I forget this? One more week. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, one more week exactly. Till Friday, actually. Friday, uh, six p.m. GMT, and then, um, and then it's done. Yeah. That's right. So yeah, let's see who signs up. I did have the. Uh, final sign up somewhere but surely it, it's going to be an interesting uh, turn because the patch is only dropping on 27th and it's not uh, too much time to prepare well, for the be next turn it's going to be so ridiculous isn't it i mean it's yeah it's going to be so difficult to uh, prepare in time i think you it. are going to see so many different uh, stats uh, strats because everybody's plays different especially in the new patch Ah, this is where I did it. I haven't uploaded it online yet. Sorry, guys. But this is the uh, ranking as they stand um, on screen here. You've got Ray, Havoc, Ferragy, Orange Pest, um, Jezulin. So, yeah, you've got Havoc that'll, that can challenge, of course, as well. So, there's a good top five for you. Um, then you've got other players. I would know Alpern can be a threat, but he has to get his psychology in order because um, he's been... You know, upset about the game recently. Who else could we point out? Jibber. Yeah, he's a good player, to be fair. So, yeah, you've got some good, solid players there. Mm, to be honest, I wouldn't as, as underestimate anybody because there are always uh, all in threats. Because maybe it works one time, but when it works, it, sh it shines pretty well. Yeah, true. And there will be. Secret. That's wha what uh, Amper do, for example. He. He really likes that, uh, for example, back in the days, the Crusader threat. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, how he beat yeah. many players. <laughs> he just, well, I think Alpern's been uh, campaigning for call ins to be removed, so he just loves to spam the call ins almost <laughs> as a. Sorry, this is the example bracket, but just to remind everybody, of course, it's going to incorporate team games. So if you're a 1v1 purist player and you lose before the, uh, the final four. Sorry, even if you lose the semifinals, you'll still have to play at least one team game, which is going to be so psychologically demanding, isn't it, Faraji, to switch up game modes to survive? Well, How sure, do you feel but about I am that? not planning to play team games, but <laughs> <laughs> the no format is, is really nice, I agree. <laughs> no one is. It's nice for you because you're uh, probably like the number one seed if we were to seed it traditionally. I'm not sure how I'm going to seed it quite yet. But um, yeah. It's it's very, very interesting indeed in that, like, if you lose your semi-final, you have to play a team game to come back, and uh, you really don't want to lose that semi-final. You really don't want to lose anything, actually, but, uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting. Yeah, but this uh, tournament going to really show what company of Heroes 3 can provide to new players, for example. Yeah. All of from I... 1v1s to 4 v four, so it shows everything. Exactly, and... That's why I, I did it this way because I knew Relic wanted to sponsor something. They didn't know what know what they were sponsoring yet. I was like, oh, okay. Actually, okay. whose idea was uh, this format? Who's mine? That of course was yours. mine. Yeah, of course. Everything's my idea. It's my tourney. It's just they're giving us the money, which is great. I'm very happy about that. People don't think there's still ideas in the old dog <laughs> yet. I mean, come on. <laughs> I've done some sick I actually ideas really in the liked past. It. Yeah, I did Commander I really Terminator. Liked it, that yeah. was a good original idea. I did, 
That's pretty much it, actually. Hang on. No, that's... That, of, of original ideas, I can't think of any. Chaos Creek was kind of a fail. That could have been really cool, though. The 250VP Cup Tawny. Uh, yeah, resurgence, man. Let's go. Innovative ideas. Let's go. Come on, Farage. It can only be better if uh, we have more players, for example, and like uh, 32 people bracket. That would be the oh, coolest, I, I would say. That would be so cool, yeah. But uh... Because back in the days in Prime Era of Koto, maybe that was around 2018-19. Uh, but I only joined in 2020. 20? What? You only joined in 2020? Yeah, that's uh, when I started to play more professional. Or I, That's not the right word because it's not professional, but more, more seriously. Yeah, wow. What was your first cup then? Um, maybe it was end of 2021 or early 2022. Okay, so we've got, did you play in the Autumn Open, International Classic? Um... Uh, maybe check MF Finals uh, 21. Oh, the brackets, okay. Yep. Let me go and open this monstrosity. I do, I really regret how I did this one, but let's me have a look. Yeah, there I Garagy, am. Garage, <laughs> yeah. by Nagano, let's go. I, and then I there's a follow up, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> Is that it? Come on, you must play this another one. Tell um, me you had two goes. I, I missed one. I missed one if I'm right. Okay, I'll, I'll start or... searching for you manually. No, that's it. Faraji, Nagano. Yeah, that, that was my career <laughs> in that <laughs> tournament. <laughs> Love it. Did you play in Vaughn's Tournament of Madness, aka. Oh, this was this was interesting. I don't think you did. I don't, I don't think. think so, yeah. I remember another tourney when there were four man groups. I don't know which one was that. Scorched Earth 2, you played in that? Yeah, I played. I remember I could win my first MMA game right there versus... No, um... I don't think so. Yeah, I, I could. <laughs> oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah. Oh, let's have a look. Yeah, I, I could be TK. I lost to Aparan in, in Kona, but that was a winnable group. Yeah, you beat EK. Let's go. Yeah, and also I lost to Devon. Points. Yeah, that Aww. was my first time I win. I remember for that. Okay, not too Actually, bad. Actually, I like this format too, because uh, everybody could play more matches, because my problem was always that uh, when I am just signing up for a tourney, I am always going to face Nogano or Isidore, which yeah. most likely I'm going to be to lose to 2-0, and I can never climb the ranks. So this is why I really like this format, because I, I could play versus other opponents too, not just yeah. in auto match. Then we didn't see anything from you until, of course, uh, ML season, this Co3 season last year. Uh, uh, where I started to show up, I think you remember the King of the Hill event. Which one? Where you were sponsored by a mobile game. Yeah. Yeah, you did really well that day, actually. I was like, I thought you were a map hacker because I'd never really heard of you before. <laughs> and I was like, why I is this not. guy beating everybody? What's going on? Yeah, I remember that. Holy sh... Yeah. Uh, wasn't that for some sponsorship I had or something? Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, I, I could beat Incona, Markov and uh, Asha Boys. Or now it's Ray. Yeah, Ray. Don't dead name him, okay? <laughs> yeah. Um, too many Algorand potato. We don't. Yeah, I've had no life. But yeah, anyway. and also I had a rough start in the new ML in in Corsi because because uh, of lack of uh, turning experience, I was really shaky in the beginning. Yeah, it seems here you built beat Ray and then you lost to Ray. Sorry, then you beat Theo and then you didn't have a game in your third series of ML one. Didn't happen. Yeah, after the first game, I was always more relaxed and I, I could play not my uh, on my ma maximum skill, but I would say much better than in the first game because usually my, my problem was that I played only on 20 or 25% of my skill. Oh, and so. I was really anxious about it because oh, yeah. I, I, I was just so, about so shaky. So, yeah. I lost I'm... to Incona in the first and two times because of that. Yeah, I remember we talked about this, dude. I remember we had like an interview last year, actually. Now, um, 
So yeah, you can see like during the course of this ML season, you were shaking it off. You and Inca yeah. would have faced each other so many times. <laughs> yeah. And then you beat Happy Cat. You beat Imara and Brawl 3 nil, And then ML4. Yeah, and where I could shake off uh, this anxiousness of, uh, of me. That was actually against Hack Smash. Yeah. Yeah, finally, full up Ferragi unveiled. And you go on to beat Orange Pest because you're just riding high. And then the finals where you unveiled your uh, sexy pose. Yeah, and since then, I am I, I, I can play more relaxed, but that's not the right word, but yeah. I think you know what, what I'm trying to mean by that. I, I know what you mean, yeah. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching today. And a uh, big shout-out to Ferragy, walking away with $100 from this tournament, but a big $4,000 tournament next weekend starting the Resurgence Cup. Hopefully you'll see him there. You'll see a lot of other great people there. You'll see Daniel D there as well, by the way, in chat. You see Ray there. Everybody watching, you'll pretty much see. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, let's look forward to that. And let's raid whoever we can in chat. Unless anybody Thank you else... for the custom. Hey. No problem, mate. Thank you for the interview, dude. And uh, it's been awesome. Does anybody want to be raided? Do you want to be, just cast some... Get, uh, stream some games, Faraji? Anybody? <laughs> I'll try and raid Dirty Finisher, but I'm banned. Um, who else have we got? Maybe Ray Dexon. <laughs> Dexon, is he <laughs> Yeah, he is. Okay. Right, thank you so much. Um, hi, Vulcan. How are you doing, mate? Hope you're doing well. And uh, see you later, guys. Hope you have a good one. Let's raid uh, Dexon and finish the stream. Cheers. It uh, comes with a mature audience uh, tag, and yeah, it deserves that. <laughs> Bye-bye, guys.